Hello everyone, how are you doing? RPG Kingdom Kid here, back with another live stream of Persona 5 Royal. How are you all doing today? I am doing fantastic. I hope you all are doing great. I hope you all are enjoying the content that I've been putting out, you know, for as long as you guys have been watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the live streams. I hope you guys are enjoying my daily videos that come out every single day. Speaking of those videos, I release videos every single day at 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Currently, and of course, they come out earlier or later depending on if I'm streaming those days, which I'm streaming on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, which is happening right now if you guys are watching. And I hope you guys are, because hey, this game's fun. I love it. It's, it's so far been a great game. This, I'll be honest. I mean, I'll explain this later. Let me let me let me do my whole spiel first before I go into a little details about what I'm talking about here. So, currently we have Final Fantasy VII Remake coming out at the 11 a.m. slot. That game is getting close to our finale, and I'm super excited for it. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I hope you guys are enjoying that playthrough. I hope you guys are enjoying the game if you're playing it yourself. It's a fantastic game. I would recommend picking it up. I'll be honest. I've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy VII, kind of getting getting ready for to record my final video which i'm actually going to do tomorrow on wednesday so that's going to be great i hope i'm able to do it on screen do a one take type thing it's, i'm nervous but at the same time i'm excited because a i fucking love final fantasy 7 it's been fantastic i'm in I, and i'll explain this more too when i when i'm recording the video but in order to do the thing i've got to do you have to play through it again on hard mode so that's what i've been doing basically the, the, I've already finished up the story. I wrapped up the story a long time ago. And I've been just basically doing everything else. I played the whole game on hard. I beat every single level on hard. It took a while, but it was I was able to do it. I got every single manuscript, which is basically, hey, here's 10 more uh, PowerPoints or whatever they were called to upgrade your weapons for. So I got all those. I got every single trophy in that game except for one, which I hopefully will get in the video. Uh, that'll be out on Wednesday, but of course... Or no, that I'm recording on Wednesday. So I'll be recording it on the day that you guys will see this. Not live, but like archived. So, but hopefully I got that done. And then, yeah. And then I have to prepare for a new LP. Speaking of new LPs, before it was Animal Crossing New Horizons that was coming out at the uh, 1 a.m. Uh, 1 p.m. slot, excuse me. The 1 p.m. slot, it was Animal Crossing New Horizons. I love that game. We're going to take a break from it for now. Actually, my my playthrough of it is technically over, but I will come back to it every single now and then. There might be an event. Uh, I, it's going to be a long time, but in November, they have events for your birthday. So when my birthday comes out in November, I will do a recording in that just to show off. And of course, I'm going to show off my island once I feel like, you know what, this is fine. It's going to be a while. It probably won't be until maybe after the next next LP. It's done that I'll be like, all right, here's a one video type thing. Maybe as like a buffer. Have like a buffer from one LP to the next. Maybe it's like, oh, I want to LP this, but I still have a few days before it comes out. I don't have it and I can't start a new LP because then it'll be longer before that starts. So that'll probably what it serves as. It'll be a buffer to be like, okay, here's a little, here's a few episodes of Animal Crossing again. Show off the new island. Maybe we go on some islands and such. Show off the new residents if I get any. You know, stuff like that. So, what is coming out now? Well, what comes out at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time today because it's being because I'm uh, live streaming this until 1 p.m. Hopefully, so I gotta hopefully get out of this before 2 p.m. So you guys can watch the premiere of a new LP, one that I'm super excited for. I've been having a blast in it so far, and I hope you guys are enjoying it too. It's I'm not going to say what it is here. It's a fan favorite. It's a lot of people's favorite games. It's a fantastic like a lot of people seen it seen its praises. It's a game I have never played until now. It's a game that I have had the console that originally came out on. I have I, I've had the consoles that's been available for, but for some reason I just never played it. I just never picked it up and started playing it myself until technically Sunday. It was when I recorded those episodes, but until now. So the new LP guys will come out today at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. Hopefully I'm already done streaming by then so you guys can watch that and you're not interrupted by my streaming to catch it so again i'm going to do my best to get out of here maybe around 1 30 p.m or 1 1 p.m or maybe 1 45 p.m so hopefully i get out of here early enough that you guys don't miss it so you know what without further ado let's just continue on 
So yeah, I, as you guys see, I did do a little grinding because, of course, grinding mementos. Got new personas. Got different personas. And I will show those personas off right now. So there's not really a lot to show off. Oh yeah, I got a shit ton of money too. Holy crap. Am I glad that you get money and experience now when you instant kill enemies? Because that's why I... That's what I was basically doing. I was just going around mementos, just instant killing, instant killing, instant killing, instant killing. I bought all the... I bought basically every single item that Jose had with flowers. Because, you know, every time you go to a floor, you get more flowers. So I just basically bought every single item that he had. Because uh, those uh, incest, uh, incest things... Not incest. The uh, incest... Shit. The, the stuff that I used on my persona in lockdown. That stuff, he only had one of, so I bought all that. I bought the, I bought him of all the SP stuff. I basically, the only things that he seems to have unlimited numbers are, are the blank cards, and I believe stuff that makes enemies fall asleep or something, stuff like those top four or three things that he had. Those are the things that he seems to have unlimited stuff. So, I actually left with like over 100 flowers from mementos, even though they disappear, but it's like, I'm not going to. I'm not going to use these to buy a lot of blank cards. I already have a lot of blank cards. I have like 30 some blank cards. Actually, in all honesty, I should have had USK make more. Actually, if I make have it make one more, it'll be a thing for the Thieves' Den. Which, uh, as you guys see, I have a little more same thing in my Thieves' Den there. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah. I, just been, I basically just cruised around Memento, slamming into enemies. Gained some personas that I didn't have just to like be like, alright, what, what can I use you to fuse to make something new type thing i even i didn't run into him but i heard the chains and i saw the lights i i saw him but i didn't run into him i saw the reaper a couple of times so i was like oh shit so that was fun all right so new personas i have i have kuamara tengu uh cliff i already had on Doss i had kinky still in lockdown i already had him neko shogun uh, i had him Sandman, I believe he's new, and then everyone else is the same. So, yeah, nothing really too exciting there. So, with a lot of money I had, I also upgraded our equipment. I decided to, like, you know, all right, let's get some... Let's get uh, better weapons, better protector, if I could, for everyone. Uh, I think I also upgraded the, uh, the gun. Yes, the, access the accuracy goes down just a little bit, but the power was a lot better than what it currently was. I believe... Uh, here, let me... Yeah, see, my power's at 120. And, yeah, like, see, right there, it's 50. This is almost doubled. Sure, the, the accuracy is down by quite a bit, but, hey, I'm happy with the power, more so. And you can't even, you can't sell the weapons, which is unfortunate, but, hey, I, I like having the power. So, yeah, so I was able to get all that stuff. Alrighty, so today is, as you we see here, it's the 11th, 7-11 in heaven. We gotta go meet our boy. Gotta go meet our dude. Gotta go meet this dude. I'm a shapeshifter. Oh, shit, this is Shinjuku. Fuck, I didn't want to go to Shinjuku. This is the place I want to go to. Hmm. I think I should have gotten the shopping district. Not that it really matters, I think. Damn it. Oh, yeah. I actually think in order... I need to see what the penal labor, labor is. But I believe I can't get it until I'm at level 36. I need a soothing soba. Guess what? I have that. I like that dude. It actually reminds me. I should actually see. If... I think I bought these weapons. <laughs> oh well. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal to me. I have the cash. Next time I go to Mementos, I'm going to get a shit ton of money too. So it's not a big deal to me. Alright. So I was go I wanted to go to Shinjuku. Just not yet. And now I do. Gonna talk to our boy Mishima. Hi. 
I already mentioned this, but Mishima is also another confidant that you do not need a moon. Arcana. You don't need a match in Arcana for it to get better. You talk to him and you do those requests, it will automatically upgrade. Fan these are practically unstoppable. Everyone loves you guys. <laughs> As do I, of course. So, you did the request I asked you to do. Thanks. Oh, yeah. As your strategic image. Yeah. That's me, Rep. I thought I should come up with more ways to help you. You have time today. Yes. I don't know if we'll get his ability now or the next level up, but I hope we get it now. Come on, let's get going. Come on, let's get going. Did it change his voice or something? It's hard to tell. Mention it. Oh, I forgot to mention. Oh, we're meeting up with some fangirls today. Yeah? All well, these are supposed to have some special ladies, right? Never heard that before. I'm already taken. Never heard that before. Really? Wait, really? Man, these are supposed to steal girls' heart. Everyone knows that. Actually. Basically, I met some cool girls on the fan site, and we thought it'd be fun to do an in-person meetup. Well, that reminds me, they think we're just part of the fandom. I may have this whole story about how we stumbled onto the fan site one day, so let's stick to that. Let's feel the beans, okay? Part of the fandom. This is what usually on fan site call themselves. It's really common as the forms got more popular. Also, another thing, just like the sun, doesn't matter what your response are. So it's you're all you're safe for that too. Um. Either way, you should be excited about this. Mingling with your loyal supporters is a noble cause indeed. Plus, remember how I said I'd help publicize the fan base? This is just the beginning. <sighs> uh, to be honest, I've never actually met someone on, from online in person. I wonder if I'll be able to do it right. You have lots of research, though. You know all about footing the bill and buying dessert for the girl. Apparently, if things go well, you might even t t take her home. Dude. Hmm? It's the first day. Quote unquote date, it's not even a date. Huh? It's way past our meeting time. Uh, hello? It's Mishima. It's the guy you met on the fan site. At our meetup. Huh? We're still at home, and what about your friend? Oh, um, yeah. Uh huh. No, he'll be waiting here. Wait, was that a train announcement? I could swear I just heard someone say Shibuya over a loudspeaker. Are you close by? Huh? Oh no, I'm not calling you a liar. You know what? The funny thing is, we had to meet Mishima in Shinjuku, but now we're all the way back on Central Street in Shibuya. So that's weird. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. I bet you they took one look at us and left. Maybe next time. So, so both of them apparently got sick. I'm yeah, just gonna stay home. <laughs> yeah, it seemed like they were really into the idea on the form. <laughs> oh well, my bad. I was so busy with all the new form posts, I didn't have time to really vent them too much. Don't overwork yourself. No, no. Oh, I am not. This was just a learning experience. All right. All that aside, I have some really good info ready for you guys. I want it you down. I'll prove just how useful I can be to the fan thieves. He seems motivated. I like that. Okay, good. Yes. So. Oh my god. <laughs> Getting Mashima's confidant to be maxed out. Hell, in New Game Plus, if you're able, if you're able to max out a confidant in a playthrough, and you talk to them on the last day, at least that's how it was in Vanilla. I'm assuming it's going to be like this in two. You get an item from them, which basically is like you you get all their abilities. You get all their abilities from their confidants like right away, except for like, except for when it comes to your party member, the final awakening. So you get all this. So add add that stuff on top of Jose's stuff in mementos. You're unstoppable. You are going to be at like level fifty the first time you go into mementos. All right. Uh, maybe new game plays I'll do merciless or something like that. I wasn't supposed to turn out like this, though. But those girls would never have flaked on me if they knew I'm friends with a real fan thief. <sighs> Being a guardian of justice isn't so easy, huh? <sighs> let's go home. Oh, let's head home. Ah, Mishima. Oh, I'm a Mia. Sorry for dragging you out for no reason. People typically use an alias online, so a lot of them don't hold back when they comment. I thought it would be. 
Thought it was going to be a great opportunity to hear their opinions on the fan thieves. Yes, yeah, but it's always better to hear that kind of stuff first, right? Of course. Right? I know you feel the same way. And we could have met some really hot. I mean, gotten some really valuable information. All right, I'll get back to mo modding. Trust me, everything's going to turn out awesome. See ya. I like Machina. I think I, I said this before. I like all their confidants except for Oya. Oya is probably the only one that's like, ugh. And I feel like a lot of people agree to that, but still. Hey, did you know that there's going to be a summer festival in Odaiba? Summer festival, huh? How can anyone eat so much fatty food when it's so hot out? Man, you just don't get it. It's because it's hot out that we can eat all that meat. Come on, let's go check it out. I'll treat you to a skewer. Mm. Summer festival, mm. huh? You think they'll have any A5 beef there? Well, we should worry about finals first. Once those are over, it'll be summer vacation, so stay focused. Yes, Morgana. Behind the mask. My hope rests with the Phantom Thieves. I'm so glad the Phantom Thieves are over the news. Yeah, they're really taking it off since the whole Kamashita thing. The legend of the Phantom Thieves started at our school. We're practically one of them. Ah, it's a crazy girl! She's coming up behind! And who can relate to what they're doing? Punishing corrupt adults up to no good? The police should take notes. <laughs> I we'll we'll take with we'll take care of her. Actually, I think she's already one of the things that we're taking care of. Quiet down. We'll sure are making a fuss, even though it's right before exams. Behind Kanashiro's arrest are the fan thieves, the mysterious group that changed people's hearts. If I recall there were similar rumors back during the business of Kamashiro kun Help the weak and crush those strong. Truly a modern legend of the gentleman thief. In a long history of humans, the gentleman thief has been briefly been briefed during times of turmoil. Now, oh, please look at this picture. I'm a Miyakun. Yeah. Hey, it's Goemon. This picture depicts the final moments of Isikawa Goemon. He did something during the Shogu period that had him and his family boiled to death. Do you know what he did? Thievery! Because we're talking about thieves, so... Makes sense. Correct. That's correct. Isikawa Goemon is Japan's most famous thief. He's very popular and some call him a gentleman thief. By the way, the Goemon bath comes from his name. Yes, it does. Only seen from the rich and powerful and sharing with the poor. Goemon's exploits have been documented in many forms of media, like kabo kabuki and novels. Oh, wow, really? He's so smart. He's so smart. Maybe you shouldn't judge a book by its cover or something like that. I don't know. We're dumb. However, it's actually unclear whether or not Goemon was indeed a German thief. Re rebellion against Hideyoshi, whose campaign had failed, propaganda by the government to sully his name. German thief Goemon may be no more than an illusion made by varying motivations. In actuality, most heroes and German thieves throughout history are something like that. Yep. Let's make sure people don't think we're just an illusion. Not before that, you need to stay for the exams that are starting tomorrow. Thanks again, Morgana. Oh, hey. It's open. Oh, right, that's right. At the end of yester, uh, at the end of school yesterday on the 11th, uh, Makoto said she'd probably go talk to Mariku. So this is probably Mariku, uh, Makoto going in. Welcome. Oh, you're a student council president. Nijima's not correct. Excuse me. Sorry for coming by so suddenly. It was nothing. Oh, no, everyone's permitted to stop by whenever they like. I know the phrase counseling session. Can't make some people nervous, but don't be. Considering you're a student council president, I'd rather, I'd rather they didn't force you to come here in all actuality. No. Uh, I was advised to come, but I still chose to do it on my own. Good. Oh, good. Glad to hear it. But please, there's no need to be concerned about my being here. Feel free to discuss anything with me. Uh, yes. Oh, right. So I shall. <laughs> you're sign more like the counselor here, in here than I am. I like this! I like that they're showing like all the fan thieves coming Let's in see. here and such. Obviously, we won't do it with a few of the party members, but hey, it's still nice. Like, obviously, we're not going to do it with Yusuke. Yusuke doesn't come to this school, so. Excellent grades, exemplary conduct. Wow, you appear to be the ideal honor student. No. Oh, not at all. In fact, quite the opposite. I'm actually a bit of a mess, and I always have to turn to others for help. Well, you sure had me fooled. Even still, getting help isn't a bad thing at all. In fact, it's wonderful that you have a support system. Indeed. Especially lately. I feel like I can't do anything right by myself nowadays. Hmm. Did something go wrong for you? Yes. Yes, but it's nothing major. 
And I, I have come to understand all too well that it's a bad idea to take it on more of a burden than one should. Hmm, you really do seem like someone with a mature sense of responsibility. However, that may be why people around you, especially the adults who should be protecting you, rely on you so much. <laughs> adults, you should be protecting me? Had I been clever enough to understand that earlier, things may have gone a bit differently for me. You think so? Uh, you live alone with your older sister, I see. Pardon me, saying, but it seems you've been through quite a lot. But... I thought I was hearing a phone ring or something, but no, it's not. Honestly, it only felt like the norm to me. But our lack of adult gu guardians has to have been hard on my sister, even now as well. I'd be lying if I said it wasn't hard for me, too. You still remember them, your parents? Yes. Hey, so... Not as much about my mother immediately, but my father without a doubt. In fact, now that I think about it, I may well have grown to be a bit upper uptight because of that. I see. Is that so? And are you doing okay now? Is your support system adequate? Well... It's not as if I have a team of employees or anything, but I do have people that I'm able to rely upon well. Of course, I'd never think of them as replacements for my father or my sister. No one could replace either of them. What I've lost won't ever come back. I just need to keep my chin up and push for towards my future. Quite. <laughs> I like the way you put that. No one could ever be replaced, yet we need to keep pushing towards our future. Should anything come up that you want to help with, I'll be there to support you. Do my skills and pr pretty, though my skills are pretty limited. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate the kind words. I like this. I like this. You know, we're kind of getting into more like. Hey. We're kind of getting more into the whole. <sighs> What's the word I'm looking for? I don't want to say psyche, but for lack of a better term, we're kind of getting into the psyche and how the other party members feel throughout the whole game. With uh, Mark Hughes, uh interactions here. I like that. I like that a lot. You're pretty sad the leader of the fan thieves got bad grades. Now, what do you want, Mishima? This one's super special. It's not even anywhere on the form yet. Anyway, do you remember that bully Daisuke Kaizu who hearts you changed earlier? Well, it turns out that there's someone pulling the strings the whole time. Seems like Takanashi didn't have a choice but to listen to what that guy told him to do. Throwing someone to bully other people is a pretty crappy thing to do, isn't it? Horrible. Right, it's totally unacceptable. This person has to be somewhere in our school, right? You should go take a look around. In the meantime, I'll still do a little more research, too. I want to go after the target. We'll need a name. Let's go investigate the school. To do that, we go through the gate. At the gate. Remember the target we had in Mementos? I'm not about to believe it. Target is the student shooting, and they could be nearby. We should gather some information. I believe it's this one right here. Sure about that? I can't imagine you want me to release this video of you stealing. Fine! Just stop making me bleed people dry, Psychato. Hey, you did all that on your own. You really wanted to show this to your teacher's hot talk to Nashi Kun. I'll word out of you, and I'll defeat your film to the whole world. They. Yashimaru's Lago tapes will be a huge hit. Why well, you made me do it, damn it. This mega jerk was playing the strings all along. We gotta do something about this. I now have the target. Going out with our boy, Yusuke! I think I have an emperor for some, but I want to make sure it's Sakata. Hello. Hello. Good to see you. <laughs> Has been accepted into the public expedition. Just on display as we speak. Would you like to come see it with me? Yeah, let's go see it. And let us head to the museum. <laughs> I have yet to actually go there myself. This should be quite lovely. <laughs> I'm gonna go take like, a walk. Bueno. Bueno. All right. Museum. Indeed. In addition to the expedition aspects of the show, there is also an evaluation portion. I believe my piece truly stands out among the sea of art here. And yet nobody has come to see it. 
Perhaps they are so afraid of the truth held within that they dare not take a closer look. What is this supposed to be? There's a dark, almost there's an aura emitting from it. Mm, the tale is desire. I see no desire here. I understand now this area is for students. Just like they decide to paint this on a whim. Indeed, there's neither elegance nor emotion in this piece. Come, dear, there are much more detailed paintings over there. <sighs> there's no need to worry. I'm not bothered in this like this. That was nothing more than the drivel of unrefined commoners. I need not pay any mind to them. As long as those who are in the know understand my work, I will be happy. This is... Mm. Wow, look, a knowledgeable po patron has arrived. Mm. I would like your opinion, sir. What are your thoughts on this piece? I can see quite clearly why I was accepting the ex expedition. The technique is excellent. However, the composition as a whole is mediocre at best. What did you say? How dare you! Ha, are you the artist? The title is just a desire, but that idea is quite overused. Some may even call it stale. If you want to paint an abstract work with such an old theme, you must inject some individuality into it. What? Take another look. Try to remove yourself from the artist's bias. Those brush strokes are splendid given your age. Does this painting really tell you anything? It is empty, devoid of meaning. I suggest you take a more critical eye to your work in the future, if you truly want to progress as an artist. Oh shit, that actually reminds me, I need to check out Mishima's thing too. Oh well, we'll check out Yusuke's as well. My work is empty. That's harsh. What a dick. Don't let it bother you, bro! Indeed. God, I'm so sorry, my wires keep rubbing against the box here. And they're probably gonna keep doing that. Have a drink of water. But why? I put my heart and soul into this piece. Captured the very essence of desire. It was supposed to lay bare the reality of the world. Perhaps. Perhaps he was right. It may be empty after all. These colors, these brush strokes, they do not convey the true meaning of desire, only my conception of it. I haven't captured desire. Desire has captured me! How could this be? How could I have fooled myself into believing otherwise? I love Yusuke so much. It is as though I, I have been forsaken by the gods of art. This get rave mistake shall be the end of me. Hey, this is just the beginning. Do not patronize me. I have no future in this field. Yusuke, come on. What is going to happen to me now? Without art, what will remain of my being? You really giving up? This isn't like you stand up, Yusuke. This isn't like you, dude. Ren, agreed. You are correct. Surrendering myself to fate after only one failure would be very much unlike me. Still, being criticized by someone with such a keen eye is truly painful. Okay. But that all. But that is all the more reason I must break out of my slump. I must prove my ability to him. That's the spirit, dude. You've got it! I will start by painting. With that I will paint, beyond which I shall paint even more. That is the only way I will learn to capture the essence of emotion. After all, you can only accomplish so much by using logic to analyze the contents of the heart. I hope you allow me to continue my skill card services as well, Ren. I shall conquer this. Yusuke seems especially motivated! Yay, Yusuke! Follow up! Nice! Alright. I believe all our prime members know follow-up now. It's, uh, mm. I think Makoto knows it. I think we're actually on rank 4 of my shadow. I have to double check. Or maybe she'll learn that next. Oh, then. Let's head home. I wish to start anew. A slump, huh? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, hey. Man, I apologize for causing a scene earlier. That one gentleman's critique made me fully realize what I've been lacking. Now my path is clear. I will simply keep on drawing. I'm going to have ten pieces finished up by the end of today. That's the spirit. If anything, I should be doing more. I'll do anything to escape this slump. With your support, I was able to pick myself up rather quick today. I hope this doesn't discourage you from joining me again. I will get past this. Sorry for taking up so much of your time. We'll meet again soon. 
I, I fucking love Yusuke. How can you not you love Yusuke? It's the fucking best. Ah, you're back. Pretty late. Just should head home. Hey. So I'm a little scared here. I put Kinky in my vein. I hope he doesn't disappear during the exams. That's all I'm gonna say. Better not. Alright, uh... Okay, Makoto is at rank 4. Okay, so I was right. She should have follow-up then, right? Yeah. Harrison recovers next thing. His payment was poorly received. Time to start over and pulling him out of this slump. Artok, if negotiations with the Lone Shadow fails, you can try again. And who... Oh yeah, Mishima. He tried to organize an offline meeting, but was stood up. Increase XP earned by backup members. Yes! I believe it's rank 10? I think it's like everyone gets the same amount of experience. Which is super cool. I believe that was it. My mask. I really want to verify your skills. I have the perfect client for your test. What's good for time for you? Uh, I just want to double sh check. I'm not gonna. Oh, right. I was like, why can't I go to the velvet room? Because the velvet room's not here. I mean, I feel like they. I think they actually contact me if it's time. So I'm just, I'm just scared that it's gonna be like, oh, it's dead now type thing. Good evening. Good evening. God damn it, I forgot to do the crosswords. Son of a bitch, I'm gonna have to go. I knew I should have saved before, I know well. Hello there, Mifumi Sensei. I can't wait for today's session. Your last prediction was practically perfect. By the way, um, who is this boy? Oh, you need to mind him. That's, this, that's just my apprentice. If anything, you can think of him as a human sized stuffed animal. I mean, look how fluffy his hair is. <sighs> right. Hey, so he's okay with working for a woman, even though he's a guy. Uh, something like this, that is just unthinkable in my line of work. Um, I take that means something else has happened with your job. Yes, a male co-worker of mine has given all the credit of a successful project I poured my myself into. And do, and do you know how my boss told me? He said it was just the natural order of things because I'm a woman. Uh, terrible. That's why I'm thinking of leaving and starting on my own business. I've actually been planning for some time. I'm not sure if I'll be... And there goes my phone. Find a foothold in the market, though. Here we go. Mackie, so that's the tarot. Show us the truth, oh divine power. Yes, I've seen everything. The cars have appeared in reverse. Is this? In other words, it seems as though your business is doomed to failure. No, what should I do? Sorry, but in this case, it appears your fate is inescapable. Inescapable? What are your thoughts? Nah? Were you even listening? What shall we do? What can you do to help this woman who is so oppressed by the savagery of male dominant work environment? Encourage her. What? What? It's a little idealistic to expect that, that will actually work. Incidentally, what would you say if you wanted to encourage her? Hurrah! Overturn your fate! Row, row! Fight the power! Um... Oh shit, that was the wrong one. I should have picked Overturn your fate. Oh well. I feel like it doesn't even matter because they're both giving me point zero, so... You now you're talking about her business success, right? This has nothing to do with the power. Reconsider your answer. Oh. Overturn your fate. Uh... I'll be totally responsible. That's simply not an option. How can you expect her to overturn that which is inescapable? Overturn my fate. That's right. I don't have to follow the rules of this oppressive society. I can do it. I'll reshape every aspect of my adequate industry. Yay. Okay, good. They, that was basically one that's like you had to pick that one. Mine's made up. I'm going to quit my job and set up on my own private business venture. And even if I fail, I, at least I won't be washed away doing business busy work for that sexist bastard anymore. 
Thank you, young man. If you'll excuse me, Mifumi Sensei. What? Uh huh? What's up? Uh, Far too irresponsible on me, a son. Her misfortune has already been made clear. Her will surely back me up on that. What? But what? It, it seems the sequence of cards has changed. The financial future is now apparent. Appearing as extremely successful. What did you do? Are you are you psychic? Did you use your powers to change the order of the cards? My divine power is capable of sending people like you down the depths of hell, you know. No. Uh, yes, that has to be it. It's the only way this could happen. Fate cannot be changed. Fate is absolute. That is how it must be. I'm so stubborn. Open your mind to change, girl. That may be. That may not be such a bad idea. But if that. Possibility were the truth, how would I keep my holy stone business intact? Eh. Anyway, you've changed the flow of destiny twice now, both times coming before my very be eyes. Helpful. Seems this verification process is turning out to be much more meaningful than I expected. Since Chiaya's intense motivation. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba. I believe it's the next one that I'll get the right. uh, skill. I believe so, I'll have to check that. You'll come back again soon, right? Promise me. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hi, is this on me, son? I'm just not convinced about what happened today. So I'm going to get right to the question. You're currently staying right in front of your house, correct? Of course I am. See, that's exactly what my reading told me. Fate is absolute after all. Everyone could reverse their fate as so easily as flipping a table. Life would be easy. This, this is why I believe I need you to contact these verifications with you. So please promise me you'll stop by my booth again. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Okay, crazy lady, I love you. Bye bye. Yo. Yes, up. I just heard this, but apparently we're having a summer festival soon. I heard there's gonna be a shit like kebabs, steaks, the hot stuff. Dude, I'm so pumped. Is there nothing but meat? Huh? Well, duh, what else would you want? I think this is new. I think this summer thing is new. We'll see. We'll see if they, like, capitalize on it. Because I know they had, like, a fireworks festival thing, and they talked about that, too. But still. Oh, man, I couldn't stop thinking about meat. Probably been hot, juicy meat. Oh man, now I'm hungry. Let's get going already. Alright, I'm gonna do this without cheating. I'm gonna cheat, but I just wanna know what the hell. Oh, who's on Kanshiro has distracted me from studying. So, what if he's, she's an honor student? Why should she get special treatment? Souls are what matter, you know. I heard that fan things might be from our school. It can't be true. It'd be funny if it was, though. I only have like three female voices. If I'm lucky. <laughs> Today is the first day of our final exams. Begin. If the angle C is 28 degrees and angles A and D are 88 degrees, what is the angle of B and E? <sighs> Alright, I tried my best. I'm going to guess... Well, it has to be less than 90 degrees. Oh, they are all less than 90. Fuck. Angle C is 28 degrees. I'm gonna get 62. Nope, it was 64. I was close. I was close. Ooh, we can do Sounds this. about right. Mm. I see an essay question. This looks tough, but let's calm down and think it through. Explain the origin of Bazo. Bazo. In this hot weather? Well, never mind. I think this came up in class. They were invented by this famous guy from Romance of the Three Kingdoms, right? I believe it was Zuzi lying, right? Yep, I was right. Yeah, the strategy is a shoe. I think the story was about a river flowing somewhere Sh Sh Zugi Lang visited. And they were offering something to quell the river. I believe it was Barbarian's Head. Because that was the thing, right? It was like Barbarian's Head, and I was correct. That's it, a crazy story. And that's how we came up with that Baizo, right? Baizi? This master strategist came up with the Baizo. Bowsy to offer them instead of heads. To offer with the heads to 
feed two survivors. Diver instead of the heads. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. The bodies, though, were invented as an offering to the river spirit to replace the tradition of offering to Everett heads. Yep. Finished in time. Uh, time is up. up. Give up already. You fucking fail. Fail! Failure! Oh, it's a failure! Oh, Jesus Christ, it's a failure! Alright, next! Now everyone. This is the second day of finals. We may begin. Write the name and genius of the or this organization. I think this I think this one's the snow crab. Nope, it's ah damn, it's the red king crab. Ooh, we can do this! Oh, we can do this! What happens when the government issues paper hard currency in Japan for the first time? Cause riots, the government collapsed. It caused confusion in the economy. My guess is confusion. This is the land of confusion! Ooh, we can ah, do this! Ah, ah. This is the world we live in. Oh, and these are the hands we give. Oh. I was also right with that one. Let's get started. Today's the third day of finals. Are you ready? Then you may begin. What's the English equivalent of the Northern Idiosm Rainy Witches? As that is rain cats and dogs, Adoy. Ooh, we can do this. Which of the following is another name for the salmon noodles traditionally eaten it on Tanta Banta? I believe it's demon guts? Yeah, I was right! Hey! Ooh, we can do this. Hey, I was right on like half of these. Alright, we're done with exams. Hmm. Is that say exams, huh? You've seen all these before, you've got this alright. Nice! It's going good, looking forward to seeing your score. are gonna kill me. There was so much stuff on that exam. I didn't have time to study everything. This is new. Also, your voice sounds familiar. I probably could have managed if I had an extra week, too. An extra week, huh? The only people who get that kind of cushy treatment are the honor students. Oh, you mean like Yoshizawa-san. Oh, you're Yukiko. Moved her exam period. It must be nice getting perks like that. Hey there. Congrats on surviving finals. Today was the last day, right? Yeah. Say, would you happen to have some free time right now? There's something I'd like to discuss. I promise it'll just take a moment. Sure. Thanks. I know you're exhausted, so I'll make this quick. It sure has heated up now that the rainy season's passed. I just know my electric bill is going to start climbing this month. Anyway, as I'd mentioned, there's something I'd like your opinion on. Okay. Do you need counseling? Money troubles? Do you need counseling? Well, I suppose that's actually accurate. I've had something on my mind lately, and I want to hear your take on it. What is it, doctor? Doctor, okay. give me the news. Here I got a bad case of love in you this is all hypothetical mind you but i'm sure it is imagine there's somebody for whom you have high expectations they're trying their absolute hardest to meet those expectations uh-huh this person receives an awful lot of special treatment from people so they can perform to the best of their abilities so, okay what do you think those people will do if the expectations leveled on this person aren't met we disappoint they'll turn on that person I don't think about it. Either they'll be disappointed or they'll turn on that person. What do you think? I mean, obviously there's no right answer, but I'm trying to think for myself is... I honestly would think... They would definitely be disappointed. They, Like, that would be the initial thing. Like, they'll disappoint, but like, you know, you gotta keep doing it. But if they keep not reaching that level that they expect them to, then they'll probably turn on them. So my initial be like, they'll be disappointed. Yep, that's right. 
When you work as a counselor, you always think, I have to help this person so their heart doesn't break. But that's easier said than done. This world really is a callous one. No matter how much positivity or dedication a person has, just a bit of influence from their peers can easily mess with their heads. Yep. Every time I'm confronted with such a situation, I can't help but grasp the limitations of therapy as a profession. Reality's unfair. You just have to keep trying. This may not be the job for you. Just have to keep trying. Oh, I'm not sick of this job or anything like that. Don't worry. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean to get all analytical. What I meant was, if we want to truly help people stuck in a predicament like that, we need a fundamental solution. Like what? Hmm. Nothing really comes to mind at the moment. This is just a thought, but what if we got the phantom thieves to change our hearts? Uh -huh. Maybe have them shift our feelings so we won't lose to this unfair reality. It would ultimately be for the positive. Is that really a change of heart? Is that really a change of heart? <laughs> Good point. You're right. Sorry, I was just thinking out loud. I seem to have lost track of the time. I should be getting back to my work. Our conversation's been very enlightening. Thank you. And enjoy your vacation. Huh. Exams are finally over. <sighs> I'm so exhausted. Oh, I can get back to actually sleeping in peace. Hmm. You must have been studying pretty hard if it kept you up at night. Nah, I was up playing video games. Slacking off is just too much fun. I know, right? I kept cleaning my room instead of studying. I might even be too clean now. You two are perfect exemplars of what escapism can mean. <sighs> and I can only imagine what the end result will be. <laughs> Whatever! It's over with now! Who cares about that anymore? What's real important is the Phantom Thief's popularity. <laughs> Ain't it amazing? It kind of feels like our time's finally here. I've even heard people excitedly speculating about our next target. We will have to choose carefully. There's no need to hurry. We should spend some time thinking it over. Hold up! The most important thing now is our celebration party. Is our celebration. I want you guys forget. It's the fireworks festival on the 18th. I guess we're good meeting up in Shibuya, yeah? Let's say yeah. 5 p.m. We sure are on top of these kinds of things. Now for the weather. Next up is the weather. Hmm. Seems we'll continue to have localized to earn to all rainstorms all through the week. If you're heading outside, be prepared for some changes in the weather. Huh. I wonder if that will affect anything. <sighs> Time just flew by today, huh? Yeah. Let's make some tools. What? Do you even concentrate on making infiltration tools? I think you're tired from exams. So just go to sleep. Fuck you, Morgana! Let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. Fuck you, Morgana. You ain't my dad. Hey, it's me. So I've gone so late. I wanted to ask you about the summer festival. You remember that one I told you about? I forgot. I think so. Let me sleep. I think so. Come on, man. Oh, I know so. Damn it. Come on, the whole thing with the kebabs. Yep, this is oh, definitely wait. new. This is a definitely new thing. Go eat spaced out on it until now, but the festival's tomorrow. So you wanna go? I have a lot of, I have a lot of homework. I'll think about fine, fine. Yeah. Hell yeah, I knew you'd be down. Let's make sure we invite Yusuke, too. He's always down to chow. I did just remember they said it might rain tomorrow, though. Yeah, whatever. No way it's gonna rain on a day like this. See you tomorrow. Right, it's gonna have to rain on the 18th. <sighs> How would he know whether or not it'll rain? Sheesh, all worked up over a silly little festival full of food of all kinds. Well, I suppose you deserve to enjoy yourself, but be sure to keep a low profile, all right? Let's turn in for the night. Anyway, let's get some sleep. Oh, and uh, no sleeping in, got it? I'm gonna skip breakfast for this. <laughs> oh, oh, I can't, Ryuji can't be excited for this, I can't be excited for this, but you can, Morgana. Mmm, 
Oh, hey, that was actually pretty cool. What's up? Mm. <gasps> Why? Why? Why are you staring at my face? This is exactly how Ryuji and Makoto came up with their Showtime move. Is this how you scan Ryuji come up with the one? <gasps> Ryuji, I have a favor to ask. A favor? Sure. You need some money for food or something? Not this time. I've Not this been time. Over a new battle tactic for a while now. And I'd like for you to lend a hand in bringing my idea to fruition. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. I've That's seen this one before, and if it's the one I think it is, it's fucking well, cool. Well, it's merely a rough idea at this point, but... What do you think? Wasn't that, like, way more detailed than some rough idea? Well, I don't deserve such praise. I would merely prefer to add a splash of beauty to an otherwise barbaric battlefield, so to speak. Sick! So, uh, all we gotta do now is see how the star reacts to your idea, right? We should consult Jose about this soon. However, I can feel my appetite growing after describing my idea. Uh, Same here. So now, now my question is, how is this gonna work? Because Ryuji has two Showtime events now. Is it only going to be something that, like, no, like, how's it going to work? So, if it's Ryuji's turn, when it's like, okay, time to do a showtime, do I get to choose it? Like, do you want to do Makoto's or use case? I'm, I'm curious of how that's going to work now. It's so hot. It's as if we're walking around in an enormous sauna. Whose bright idea was it to come here? Yours. Yours. Just look at that crowd. Smiling faces everywhere you look. With that, oh, we're going to end up on camera, aren't we? Some of the visitors here for their comments. A TV crew, huh? We better not stand out. We can't have on TV. We, we better not stand out. We should grab our kebabs and get out of here. Ah, let's interview those three. Hey, of course. Are you talking about us. It's what the? Yeah. What do we do? Let's just calm down. That's a good point. <laughs> calm well, down. I'm suspicious if we panic now. They got us. Oh hell. Okay, I'm gonna ham it up and make some real cringy comments so they can't use any of the footage. Ham it up and make cringy oh, comments. Sure is hot You're gonna be hot. great at this, Ryuji. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. And if it's this hot in July, can you imagine just how insane the weather's gonna be in December? Uh, anyway, since you're here for the festival, does that mean you and your friends there are meat lovers? Oh my god. Uh, I'd say that we're really lovers of fruit. Oh, and sweets. <laughs> sweets are just to die for. <laughs> Well, uh, thank you very much. For <laughs> oh, your time. Ryuji. Ooh, that was too close. That was truly cringeworthy. <laughs> but are you certain that they won't air any of it? I'm pretty sure she thought there was a broadcast disaster. We ought to be okay. More important than that, though, it's time to get some meat. Oh, right. I can bob. Lines for the food stalls were even more insane than the heat. Ah, oh, look at the kebab use case holding. In the sweltering heat I have a frosty. And almost all the good stuff was already sold out. I didn't even eat breakfast this morning. I'm starting to get lightheaded. Even still, an occasion like this seems to make everything taste delicious. How mysterious. I love this. It's because we're together. What a great time. I really want a kebab. Because we're together, let me be as cringy as can. Pretty poetic, dude. <laughs> well, we came all the way out here, so we might as well go check that thing out. What thing? Yeah, what thing? I heard they're building some kind of huge-ass stadium or something nearby. Wait, was that what it was? You don't know what you're talking about, do you? The stadium? Well, such buildings often have intriguing architecture. I'd love to see it for personal reference. Yeah, then come on, let's go. Okay. Whoa, hi. So, that's it? It barely even started? We seem to be premature spectators. 
I guess this is what people call jumping the gum. Jumping the gun. <laughs> I love yeah. Ryuji being like it was Miss Temple's metaphors. Go bite somewhere? Sorry, I'm considering picking up more art supplies. I have a summer assignment to work on. Also, the summer festival drained my coffers. Even if I did grab a bite, all I could order would be water and a hot towel. And a hot towel. Ah, uh, well, in that case, probably ought to just call it quits for the day. <laughs> please, please support Yusuke Kitagawa on his Patreon. Hey, isn't that Yoshizawa? Hey! Don't you think she's acting strange? You know, she did mention something about a meat earlier. Right. Uh, ain't you guys headed home? Gone ahead of me. Huh? Oh, well, see you then. Yes, catch you later. Senpai? Well, pleasant surprise. Yes. Uh, did you come to see the stadium too? Same yeah. Here. I needed to give myself a pep talk. Hmm. Something wrong? Sometimes, when things get me down, I come here. Although, that doesn't really answer your question, does it? Not really. I know this may get in the way of your plans, but would you be willing to join me for lunch? Sumi's eyes look a little red and puffy. Oh, no. She was crying. Oh, no. She probably can't get to the meat, can she? What's up, girl? Oh, that was delicious. She's so fucking cute. What did I just witness? I'm always like this after a meet. In all honesty, I'd like to keep going, but any more will end up harming my performance. So the meet's done? Simply put, it was a disaster. Mm. I've been feeling like I'm getting back into the natural flow of things, thanks to you, Senpai. But when the moment of truth arrived, my body still wouldn't move the way that I wanted it to. Is there ain't no truth? Ain't no truth? You only want one world, blah, 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 blah. Go and do mass destruction! Is it more of a mental thing? I think that's a big factor. Something similar happened to me in middle school, but back then, I had someone by my side that kept me going. Really? Who? I have a younger sister. We <gasps> promised each other hey. that we would win international gymnastics competitions together. But this spring, she oh. died in an Fuck. accident. Fuck. Okay, so... At the beginning of the game, when Sojo takes you to the school and you're on your way back, he mentioned that there was an accident of a 15-year-old girl that passed away. I think that was uh, Kasumi's sister. At first, I was thinking in my head, like, is this related to Kasumi in some way? It's like, because that was not in vanilla. That was not in vanilla about the Sojo mentioning the 15 year old girl. The reason why I bring this up is because I, I, I watched, I'm watching someone playing this as well. And I, I don't know. I didn't catch on to that when I first played through this. I don't know why I didn't. I was like, oh, okay. That was the accident, probably. I, at first, I thought, was that Kasumi? She died. But then she's here for some reason, some weird little ghost type thing. Because if you remember back when we started the casino thing, she's like, you helped my weaker self. So I'm like, oh, okay. So what? Like, but they said died. So I was like, maybe, I don't know. But nope, that was her sister. I promised her we'd take the gold for our routines across the world. But I can't stop worrying about my lack of improvement lately. I've really been throwing myself into practice. But I wonder if even that won't be enough. You really are doing your best. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Senpai. You're right. It's just getting started. You just keep on rescuing me, don't you? <laughs> okay, no more brooding. There are still more meats left this year. I'm going to start from scratch and train as hard as I can. Right. Thank you so much for listening to all that. Now I feel like I've been recharged. Mind, body, and spirit. <laughs> well, at least my mind and spirit are recharged. Hey, is that do cut up for us? way to save off hunger. So I think I've only seen this one in her like activity. surprise one. I'm going to jog home. Take care. Whew. 
even think I'm going to Target next. Yeah, I only go with the bad guys. You have nothing to be worried about. I panic if you post a request on form, they'll do what you say. If they're taking out bad guys, it'd be fine by me. Keep it up. Why do we even need the police anymore? Bleh! Ah, you're back. I'll get you on Mia. How could I what? If you're going to the start festival, why didn't you invite me? What did you say? How does Mishima know about that? They're showing it on TV. Something about it being hot in December or saying sweets are to die for. There's a bit of Sakamoto saying some really crazy stuff. Mission failed. Mission, what are you talking about? Look, my point is, next time you guys are going out to have fun, can I come, can I come along too? I'm the fan thing's producer, you know. Oh, man. Jamie, hopefully you and the others haven't found out. I would have loved if, like, I got a thread. Ah, oh, hey! Oh! You start coming out of fun from the start of festival. At least that was the idea. It's certainly... It's certainly... Evocated. Well, don't let it get to you. Shit happens. It's understandable given the heat. Perhaps your hands grew sweaty and it slipped. Next time, we'll make sure we go somewhere we can actually eat. Agreed. I prefer an indoor establishment myself. Preferably one with ample seating and free refills on water. Uh, let's just be the diner again. Why not? It's a place of calm where, where one should also partake of many delicious foods. I mean, I guess? Man, all this talk about foods got me hungry. Caprano would hit the spot. If I shall do that, I'll do the same. Fortunately, I recently acquired some high-quality bread crust. Sorry. Sorry, I can't catch it for you. I always forget how short my arms are as a cat. That was fucking adorable. Please let me. That was fucking cute as fuck. The mask. I wish they would fuck. Um. Confidant. Fortune. Lady. Still unable to accept that fate can be changed. She continues to seek the test. Okay, so the next one. Alright, what's on here? Ah! <laughs> She's answering the interviewer. For real? Oh, man, the end. They still said use that footage. Poor Ryuji. Poor, poor Ryuji. God damn it, I always forget. Again, I have Final Fantasy VII in the mind. I pressed down the button to run, but that's not it. There was a woman last time, too. Wait, is this. Please be careful. What shall we do? Increase my charm. Is that true? Okay, that's awesome. What do you think? See, as soon as you get to a specific level, Chiaya, you just talk to her and she'll instantly, like, you talk to her with a matching persona. 
for a confidant, she will instantly like, oh, next time you hang out with them, it'll be, you'll advance. So you could easily get uh, all the confidants in, in one playthrough without following a guide. You can easily do, if you know that. If you know that. Uh, so I think there was something I wanted to do first before I did the social. I don't think so. Oh yeah, now I remember. Thieves Den. I went to look at the picture. Because the picture should be on there now, right? Oh yeah, I put some stuff in here. I wish they would fucking add... Um... So I have different music playing. Like, I wish they would stick. Like, is there a way to have that music keep playing? Uh, first I used some of this guy. It really bummed me out. Bummed. Why's that? No. I was the only one who couldn't fight, you know. I was just dragging you guys down. All I could do was stand around and get my ass saved over and over. <laughs> yeah, that's my experience after all. It's an unfair comparison. Besides, when it did come time for you to awaken, you returned the favor. Why don't we call it even? Hey, yeah, you're pretty wise for a cat. What? It's because I'm not a cat. Where's Makoto at? Oh, there she is. Mm -hmm. Look at her own persona. <laughs> I was bottled up my feelings for so long. I just did what I was told, put away. Then I came my way. I have to be thankful to her, to Johanna. She helped me break free of those chains and ro rode by my side. Sounds a little strange to be thinking of a piece of my own heart, though. Okay. I totally get you, though. I feel the same way about my own. Someday I'd like to tell her, thank you for fighting with me. possible thumbnail for this video. Uh, can I just... There we are. So, is there a way I could just leave? Yes. Yes, there is. All right. Everyone, facing civic disorder, the economy got citizens are in turmoil. However, who can it possibly turn to power? Just the fan thieves. The fact that they've been flying eyes is proof that the government's malfunctioning. This mismanagement of my authority figures is what has led us to this terrible condition. Good evening. Oh, Hamamiyaku. What kind of friendship do you spend your time with? You can withstand difficult times if you have friends who support you with them. We gave him a speech again today. I'd also like you to come with me somewhere after the speech. What's your availability like today? I'm a shapeshifter! Mariah asked me to become his right hand man. Well, you like we lost my answer. I need you to come with me after the speech. What's wrong? What did you ask me here to discuss? I had you met with Kur Kuramoto's grandson. You have your ears to the ground, huh? To think that he's the candidate, the party's backing to ruin my chances of winning. I can please share with you, since I already asked you to be my right hand man. I currently find the Kuramoto group. What? You're fighting with Mr. Kuramoto? I have ambitions of my own, you know. I owe him for all he did for me, but I don't want him to have influence over me forever. All the more now that he's secret secretly working with die members from other parties. I know he asked you to join his group, but I think you should decline his offer. Hmm. I wanted to keep you on a leash, so you won't reveal any damaging information. The real culprit of this expense misappropriation cause, in case you are blamed for, is an old man Kuramoto. What in the world? What did you just say? I searched through the parties off the record accounts from 20 years ago. There's no doubt. You still forgive him. He led you into the political world and kicked you out in the worst way. Why? Since he brought his popularity, and as a result, he was having some serious financial trouble. 
I see. Sounds as if you're saying that this is my opportunity to clear my name. And so you need an answer from me on whether or not I'll be your right-hand man, yes? This old grandson has already tried to persuade you, therefore I can't wait any longer. If you join me, you can accuse Kuramoto of his crime. You can clear your name and put no good tour behind you. This is your best and last chance. Join with Matsushita and take my revenge against Mr. Kuramoto. Drop out of the election. It's a difficult decision. Yes. Yes, to say the least. Matsushita. Appreciate the offer, but I must refuse. You have no con You have no conceivable reason to refuse. My goal is to become a member of the Diet, not the right-hand man. I will not cast aside my beliefs. On that, I stand firm. This information would be the sending factor in taking down Kuramoto. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. I'm simply offering you a deal. I assumed you might have declined it. Very well, please forget it. I apologize for bringing it up so suddenly. And I'll talk to your department and provide support for your next speech by the fan thieves. Hmm? Why are you doing this? I don't want to debate about fan thieves. I simply want to draw attention to them. And you can assert your innocence there on a grand stage. Be frank, I'll be happy as long as the current mother group's influence diminishes. Ah, me, Akuna. Don't speak a word to this if anyone for both of our sakes. Very well then. <sighs> you have caught in the crossfires! You've been caught up in the crossfires! A political conspiracy. My friend is trying to take advantage of me, while my former mentor is trying to win me over. To achieve my dream, I have to set aside my beliefs. What should I do? Stick to your beliefs? Yes. Right. Betraying myself means betraying my supporters, which also means betraying you. For some reason, just talking to about talking with you has always helped me make up my mind. It's as if my heart is being manipulated. Hmm. Perhaps. If the fan of these truly do exist. And I'm sure they're very much like you. And I don't know what you're talking about! For some reason you stood by me. No good, Tora. You didn't have any support. Actually, I've been thinking about this for a while, actually. You must have experienced cruelty and injustice in this life. You can tell by the look in your eyes. That's why I sense your desire to help the weak. Uh, yeah. I have the strength to stand up to Heckless, to Atsushita, and to Kur Kuramoto's grandson. You're no ordinary high school student. Even I know that much. Hey. Would you care to talk about it? What good would that do? Eh. <laughs> Just a joke. Sorry, I crossed the line there. I've always lacked restraint in these situations. See what I did there? I re revealed the touch by making fun of myself. Think of it as an advanced technique for winning people over. You like my palm? The Ashida is growing deeper. DEEPER! Mind control. We'll get one more thing from him, I believe. Occasionally, let you skip negotiations when attempting to attain persona. All right. Thank you. I believe, much like the item and the money, if it's right. red, that's basically like you don't have to do negotiations. All right then. Well, I'll at least make good use of Machiya's help set up my next speech. I will be able to fully express my beliefs if you're that way. I shall me. ask you again another Discuss time. Discuss again at the speech. Get that Sean to level four, baby! All I need is proficiency and kindness. All right. Well then, I'll see you again. Good work today. Yep, phone call. Thank you for taking along today. Goodness, I've gotten you wrapped up in my whole messy past now. Told you before, because I'm a diet member shouldn't be your only goal in life. I still stand by those words, of course, but what are your thoughts on what happened today? Say you were in my shoes. Could you say with all com confidence that you wouldn't be swayed by such a lucrative deal? Humans are easily swayed. One glance of adaptation could be all it takes to make us forget our principles. That's why you must never forget what's truly important to you. You understand? Stuffer than it seems. I'll never forget that. Good. Life is full of tough decisions. I can only hope today's lesson will nourish your growth. Well, the real battle begins now. I need to devote myself to this fully. After all, I can hardly afford to disappoint you. Alright, see you next time. I'll be counting on you. Yeah! 
Yeah. Oh, Amiya Senpai, thank you so much for earlier. Now I give 110% tomorrow at practice. Not going to rest? Practice already? Of course. If I rest, I'll dull my senses. Next meet, I'll make it onto the winner's podium. I swear. I won't slip up again like I did before. I'll have great news next time I see you. I promise. Hey. Looks like Yoshizawa is going to be okay now. She sure has uh, had us worried. It's the fireworks festival. Let's meet your booyah at five. Hey, Makoto, are you going to wear yukata? I'm planning on it. Yukatas are a great part of the summer tradition. They truly heighten a woman's beauty. I think I will wear mine as well. You got one? How about you, Ren? I don't have a yukata. Hey, I know. Why don't you come out without your glasses? What's the point in that? I don't know. You don't get to see fireworks every day, so it'd be sad just wearing normal clothes. I was thinking you might want to go for a change of pace. Sounds great. You should totally come without glasses. Well, you guys better not be late. <laughs> fireworks and yukatas really add to the feeling of summer. Even Lady On will be wearing one. Come to think of it. Oh, yeah, there's a fireworks festival today. We're going, be careful. Those things get insanely crowded. I love Sojiro. Hey, hey! It'd be nice to watch fireworks with the Chief Sunday. We should, could watch them right here on LeBlanc. Actually, no, we couldn't. Okay, he said watch. I thought he said launch. I was like, we can't launch fireworks here. Right when we were just about to leave, too. Who is it? Is it Yoshizawa? No, it's Mishima. Hey, I saw some of the serving news online. Sounds like it'd be really bad if it turns out true. What's this about? Well, it seems like an insane group is getting ready to declare war on the fan thieves. I was afraid to just hold on to that information myself, so I wanted to tell you at least. It's actually all I have to say, though. Sorry to bo bother you on your day off. What could he mean by an insane group? Oh shit! Yeah, that's right. I don't think this. This after we get back. We don't have much time, so. I don't think this was in vanilla. I don't think this was in vanilla. This was a straight up thing they added, I guess. Damn, it's so hot. The holiday means it's as crowded on here as it is for morning rush hour. Now for today's trade news. Today's headlines are. Fireworks festival tonight. Expect roads and transportation to be co congested for the entire day. Sudden weather changes is intimate. Be careful of sudden shifts in climate from afternoon to night. Wait, so all these people are going to the fireworks festival? Ugh, this should be fun. I love how that girl behind us is like, you know, she actually has a face. So, you know, we're going to see her again. And we actually are. Oh, it's so hot. I feel like I'm being baked. Those girls are way too late. Those girls are way must too be late. Taking time for them to put on the yukata. Why aren't you two wearing one? I got clothes like yukata. Man, you look way too normal in that. Yusuke looks great. Oh, say that to me. Oh, by the way, the exams. I bet yeah. you got a big fat F on them. Shut up. We we don't know that yet. Are you going to the fireworks festival? That's right. Us too. Hey, look, that girl you was behind me at the subway. Are we getting hit on? <laughs> Come on, let's go together. Do you happen to be a model? You look great in that yukata. Waiting around to pain, so can we just go with these chicks? Don't ask me. Don't ask me. Uh, the ratio of gas to girls is off, but uh, we can do something about that later. That's enough. You're disgracing your yukata. You should You're be more aware of your, your woman. Yukata. How could you? Why don't you go after them then? So those Sup, girls. are the kinds of girls you like, Ryuji. I honestly think Ryuji no, just likes any girls no, that talk to him. You know, Except for like you Yusuke guys. Is such a pretty boy, but he is really missing out because of what he says. 
I guess. But he's more likable since he stays true to his ideals. Definitely more than somebody I know. I heard that Ryuji's pretty much failed his exams. Oh? Mona, you little... Mona, hey, you little it's gonna shit! Hey, if we don't get going. Agreed. But, man, you both look amazing in Yukata. <laughs> Talk about Japanese beauty! Anime cutscene anime <laughs> Come on! Looks like you need help. Then yeah. why don't you go buy me a towel already, huh? Hey, I know you. get out of the rain but look how crowded it is I guess everyone had the same idea what's up mm. I think I just saw someone I know you mean the girl in that black car well she's got a ride oh, time to show your skills Mona we need you as a car it's not possible in the real world my feet hurt it's cold Festival's been canceled. This sucks. This sucks. We made such a commotion with the public, and this is what we get? <sighs> Lame. Aren't heroes that lurk in the shadows boring? That's how it should be. I like the shade. So Should've picked that that's one. what makes us cool? To be honest, I'm not a fan. I want to change the world with a loud bang, like a huge firework. Then again, we aren't going to find someone bigger than Kanashiro that easily. The rain is letting up. Though it's regrettable, we should go our separate ways for today. Yeah, let's go home. So you won't tell me, no matter what? Eh? Yeah? I have nothing more to say to you about that. I see. In that case, I have ways of making you talk. You huh? bitch. What's that supposed to mean? Thanks for the drink. Hey, <laughs> we're not done here yet. What's wrong? It's nothing. Okay, boss. It's past closing time. Clean up the place. Regrettably, the cause behind the recent psychotic breakdown incidents is still unknown. On to other news. The international hacktivist group Medjid has released a statement to the Phantom Thieves. Mm -hmm. These are the details of the message that are posted on Medjid's mm -hmm. website. To the Phantom Thieves causing an uproar in Japan. Do not speak of your false justice. We do not need the spread of such falsehood. We are the true executors of justice. Phantom thieves again? However, we are magnanimous. We will give you an opportunity to repent your ways. If you agree to a change of heart, we will accept you as our own. If you reject our offer, the hammer of justice will find you. Justice, huh? We are Medjid. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. Akechi-san, why do you think this announcement was made at this time? I don't know the details. 
but there's no doubt that they were provoked by the Phantom Thieves. Whether it's a sense of rivalry or a simple attention grab, given the recent trends, I cannot say. Regardless, it's quite a nuisance. It's quite a nuisance, a nuisance for sure. Both Mejed and the Phantom Thieves are nothing more than groups that uphold an egoistic justice. What a stupid thing they're getting riled up on. I Phantom somewhat thieves. agree. What in the world are they? You know about them? I don't. What are they stealing, though? I'm still having trouble getting that part. Well, it's about time I go home. Make sure you lock the place up. Also, about the stuff in the fridge. Well, I guess it's fine. Just don't use too much of it. Okay. It's possible that more people like these will continue to appear due to their influence. In that respect, the Phantom Thieves face a very serious crime. <laughs> oh boy. Hackers declare war on the Phantom Thieves! This is getting interesting. But why? Did the Phantom Thieves do something to them? Majad is really scary. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, who's texting me? New message from the Phantom Thieves chat room. What? Oh, pff. We gotta talk about Medjed. You mean those guys people online are going nuts over? Medjed. The name seems to come from one of the obscure gods from the Egyptian Book of the Dead. I saw the news too. For some reason, they'd think we speak of false justice. No, then, what exactly did you want to speak of regarding Medjed? Well, why don't we go after them as our next target? What a sudden suggestion. I mean, they're like bad hackers or something, right? Technically, they're crackers. Crackers. Those who use the internet to illegally access and alter data. Medjet is an organized group of such people recognized by the larger international community. So they operate on a global scale. And that makes them even bigger than Kaneshiro. Right? And so, our next target's gonna be Medjet. I wonder if, a lot, if the nav will get a hit if we put Medjet in. Oh, right. That's impossible. Yes, the name has to be a pseudonym. Don't even know how many people Medjet is. Oh. Why don't we get at least one member's info if we try and look into it, though? Even if we did, how would we discover the location? The only confirmed presence of Medjet has been online. This is a greater problem than simply finding their keywords. Unless you have any more ideas, Ryuji. Hello? Seems he had suggested this without putting much thought into it. Come on, we can't back down now. People are all excited about it. Our reputation is going to plummet if we don't face this shit. That is true. If we remain silent, people would believe we simply chose to run away from the matter. Majid has taunted us publicly after all. If they are criminals, we cannot just let them be. Yeah. And we don't have any other targets right now either. Hey, Ren, let's talk to M Mishima tomorrow. This is more of his thing. Let's do that. Also, Mako, try seeing if your sister has any info on them. I don't like me, but sure. A world-class target, huh? If we can change Medjed's heart, it'll most definitely affect Mementos. Hells yeah! I didn't both face in mind. I forgot. I forgot to post a photo I took today. Hey, not bad. Right, I'm a natural with this candy pho photograph stuff. Oh, for your sake, that was intended to be candid photograph photography. It's a shame about the rain, but at least it means today was a little more memorable. Yeah, but next time we really can't miss the fireworks. Agreed. Still, it was almost impressive how swiftly the weather turned terrible. Perhaps one of us is simply fated to bring rain wherever he goes. Oh my god, we actually got a photo from that too! That's so fucking cool! Fuck me, this game! Oh my god, Persona 5 was great and charming and all, but... Just, just them adding the little bits. These little bits make it so much better. They just make it so much better by just adding these little things. Oh. Let's watch a DVD. Cause I can't leave. Doesn't matter whether he's a zombie or not. Stranger is just another word for enemy. Right. Sir, wait! I, I'm human! I'm still human! 
Sorry about people trying to survive the zombie <sighs> festival. I think the humans are scarier than the zombies. That's what happens in The Walking Dead. It's like the humans become more of the villains than the zombies. So you finished watching The Running Dead, huh? I bet you summoned a little more guts by watching this drama. Let's turn to DVD soon. Well then. Oh, it's starting to get late. Let's head back to bed. Oh, I don't know. What? Tell me. Everyone's been talking about MedJed. What the hell is it? You don't watch the news much, do you? They're an international network of hacktivists. They target corporate corporations doing shape business and cause trouble. Saw my company's server thing? That was MedJet, trying to find out who caused the train accident. So they're good guys? Ugh, no Sounds like in them to do little Robin Hoods. But they snoop through emails and destroy data. They're no better than criminals. Alright, let's see our exams awards. MedJet, those guys that claim to be modern day Robin Hoods? <laughs> they dared call themselves heroes after those attacks? <laughs> The fire mentioned next. The feathers are amazing. I don't want to hear about just from some shady hackers. I don't care what happens as long as it's interesting. Oh, our grades are out. How'd you do? Damn, I'm dead. I wish I could get in the top ten. People look at smart students differently. What score I got? I'm in the top ten. Hells yeah. I'm more charming. I'm charming and ultra strong. Keep making that joke in every single stream, I bet. We were busy. It's not like I can focus on studying. Hey, it's not my fault my scores suck, right? It's your fault! I'm just gonna be quiet. Mm. Don't get all quiet on me. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Guess it is my fault. Anyways, there's something more important here. Mishima, you want to ask me something about the internet, right? Yep, I'm going to be straight with you here. Do you know who Medjet is? <laughs> you weren't kidding about being direct. Well, I suppose the news about Medjet and the Phantom Thieves has caused quite the commotion. They started out as hackers of justice, but now they only look out for their own self-interests. That's all I know. They were the group I texted him about yesterday. See, nobody's sure who actually belongs to Medjet. Well, it looks like things will be exciting this summer. It'll be the Phantom Thieves' world debut, no? Dude, don't worry. Dude. I'll be rooting for the Phantom Thieves. I'll get the forum mobilized as well. Now, if we're done talking here, I really must be going. I'll see you guys later. So, that was fruitless. So I that was worth any info. She was pretty useless. You guys get anything? I tried to ask my sis, but it seems as though she didn't know very much about them. She doesn't specialize in cybercrime after all. I tried looking into them too, but I didn't come up with anything. They're really just no leads. My opponent's truly elusive. No luck. Magic, huh? It seems like we won't be able to deal with them by ourselves. I know summer vacation is due to begin next oh. week, but I have an unfortunate announcement. We'll be uh -oh. holding an emergency assembly on oh, no, the 25th. This Please happened, come I believe. to school that day. Settle down. We've had many strange incidents. The psychotic breakdowns, students being dragged into break crime down, break down. Hence, principal I Kamaya got the breakdown, breakdown. Break all teachers to caution Break the down, body. break down. Well, this is inconvenient for us. I got a break know, down, break down. Find things to warn you about so suddenly. Shining justice, made the only one. Good old JoJo Part Four, third theme. How are we gonna find Medjed? I'm not sure. No matter how hard I look online, all I find are just unreliable rumors. They have carried out corporate terrorism, yet they still manage to elude arrest somehow. 
Kanashiro was a lot of trouble, but this is turning out to be mu much greater ordeal. We I have more than we can chew? I'm not sure. Right, there's no knowing who we're actually up against if we can't see the full picture. We don't even know whether it's a single individual or a large conglomerate of people. And even if we do manage to get a lead, what do we do from there? Damn, this stuff's really not going to so good. Now probably why our exams are going to shit too. Now those are two separate things, right? Stuff's really not going so good. <laughs> Clues on Medjet, huh? I don't think. Maybe it was, but I don't think it was voiced. I don't think that scene was voiced if it was in the original. Mm. If we can't identify who it is, there's nothing we can do. Let's wait till they make a move. Hey! Hey, shouldn't you tell the others about Mishima? Yes. Oh. Damn it. Oh well. Central Street. Hey, a priestess. Fuck me. See if I can actually. I still haven't said if Kinky's done yet or not. I'm worried. Hey, inmate. I'm worried. They haven't gave me a warning. I would assume they'd send like a text or something. You sure? I'll take care of them. Incense, are you gonna light? The inmate you wish to perform an execute. What path do you want? It sucks because I I could make Aramitama. Actually, I should make Aramitama. I mean, I don't really need a double persona right now. I, I need a lovers. I'm trying to think of like personas that I don't really need right now. I just need to get uh, Clotho back. I don't need a devil. Well, hold on. Neko Shogun and Clotho. All right, Tom Need. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. It will receive a gray girls. Let us begin. Okay, so I need Tom Lee back. Cause this got rid of one of my devils. And I can make another devil. Ah oh, shit, I just realized I'm this is all gonna be wasted because I can't so I'm gonna have to reload something because I fucked something up. Actually it won't. I'll easily be able to get this back. Uh Oh shoot, why did I give him lucky punch if he already had miracle punch? Fuck me. I was not paying attention to that. Oh well. I mean, I have taunt, but. Nah, it's not a big deal. Well, now I can just do this. Can I do this instead? Huh. Yeah, I'll do that That's one instead. Tough. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Striking weight. Strength. Increased chance of inflicting freeze during one more. Yeah, might as well be striking weight. The Margarula, even though you're not really weak to it, give you that. More of a. Will it gain user, so I might as well do this. <laughs> I see. Well, now all I gotta do is just get Tom Lee back. Tom Line. I don't, I know I'm pronouncing the word name wrong. But actually, I don't need it right now because we haven't, we're not doing faith for a while, possibly. I don't know. Okay. Alright. Oh, forget Picado. Alright. You change your mind. Justine, you handle this. 
read here. Uh, priestess. I was like, what am I getting again? Ah, might as well get Isis. He is then accept this persona. Done already. What? It is time, inmate. I'll have to do all this stuff later again. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. What would you like? Let's rent the jailbreak go. Oh. We haven't gained any we haven't done a new uh, a sun. Okay, yeah. I haven't looked at the sun one. I was like, we haven't done a new confidant yet, have we? But no, son. We had a son. We had a son, guys. We had a son. He firmly refused the offer and decided to make his next speech about the fan themes. Alright, I forgot what the 10th one is. Here's Max speech. Allows you to form contracts with higher level shadows. Oh! Neat. Basically lets you be able to add uh, personas. Or be able to get persuade higher level personas to be part of your team. That's cool. What's up, Makoto? Shall we go? Let's get a drink before we talk. Let's get crunk! Actually... Apparently Aiko had Sardana host from a club near her work. I guess he um, hit on her one day after her shift and that was that. Since then he's the only thing she'll talk about. She even sent me a picture of their date at Destiny Land. Are you jealous of them? That's annoying. He sounds suspicious! I think so as well. From now it seems he hasn't forced her to s spend any money at his club. I'm still nervous. Beyond that, he calls her his princess and constantly tells her how special she is. It makes me sick to my stomach. <sighs> but I could refuse to listen to me. She said the idea that all hosts are bad people is outdated. She even said she was shocked to be getting advice from someone who would totally flunk a test above love. Tests about loves aren't a thing, though. And even if they were, I most certainly wouldn't flunk them. <laughs> so sorry about that. I'm probably just being biased towards him. I mean, I don't have any proof that he's untrustworthy. And that's why I want to meet him and find out for myself what kind of person he really is. And if it's not too much to ask, I'd like you to accompany me on this excursion as well. Uh, well... This time, I'm, you'll have to play the role of my boyfriend. Why do I have to do this? If I can take it seriously. I got this! It's honestly okay. You're so reliable, Rancoon. I think if I have a boyfriend, Aiko might be more inclined to listen actually... to me. Actually... Tell you the truth, I actually already made plans with her and her boyfriend for a double date. Sorry. Uh, it's just going to be at a diner. Nothing particularly fancy, I promise. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're a tremendous help. So glad to agree to this. I don't know who else I'd have to ask if you said no. Says Makoto's bit better day. Makoto's trusting me. All right. All right. Next level up, she'll get heresy recovery. Ba ba ba. Aiko, I hope she's not getting herself wrapped up in anything dangerous. Well, if I know Aiko for Final Fantasy IX, she probably is. <laughs> but just in case, I'll try looking for some info on that host. All right then. I'll see you later. No. Nah. What's up? So I had to ask something so unreasonable. I appreciate you going through with this though. Do you think Aiko's really okay? I hope I'm just being paranoid about her boyfriend. But if it turns out he really is toying with Aiko, what should we do? Fist of justice! Try reaching out to her. You're right, we're friends now, so I'm sure she'll understand if I can just be, have an honest talk with her. Fist of justice! You know, I keep thinking in circles here. Let me stop dwelling on the negative. Let's see who this host is behind his smile, for Aiko's sake. Okay, I'll call you again later. Ah, you're back. 
Summer's break soon, huh? Must be nice being a student. Phew! <laughs> Excuse me. So I looked into Medjet. Did she find anything? As you know, Medjet is a god that appears on the Egyptian Book of the Dead. Huh? His name apparently means the Smiter. It seems nobody's actually sure that Medjet is his real name. On top of that, almost everything else about him is unknown. Even his form is unattainable. That's an unseen god that flies through the sky and shuts, shoots from its eyes. He truly is an elusive being. Dude. Everything about his existence is shrouded in mystery. Wait! Fundamentally speaking, ancient Egyptian art always depicts gods drawn in a side profile. However, Medjet is facing straight ahead in all depictions of him. Taking all of this into account, he seems to be quite the alien being. See. Well done. Hey, that's nothing to be impressed about. But that information was at least somewhat useful. Indeed it was. Should I look into it more? That's enough, thank you. So we still don't have any tangible clues. I love that use case like, huh, I'm gonna look at the medjet. Oh, this is medjet. Nope, don't have anything obtainable. Let's go back to the thieves then and get that one picture. This is actually it. This is a nice photo, too. God damn it, these are all great. Damn, it's gonna be hard to pick which one to be the thumbnail. Stay high. A new test. Do the crossword puzzle. Like I always forget to do. Like I did forget that one time. I need to like keep my mind on it. Many students' greatest loves. What? Oh, is it because I skipped the last one? Yep, it's because I skipped the last one. But this is vacations all I ever wanted. Vacations gotta get away. Vacations na 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 na. Vacations all I really wanted. Vacations gotta get away. Vacations where's the end? Oh yeah. Most popular vacations for both school and business take place in the summer. The length of the time off depends on the per per blah, 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 blah. Japan also has another vacation period in the autumn. It lasts three or seven days. Sig significantly shorter than summer vacation, but still much beloved. All right. I see. I see. Nice. Yeah, I fucked that up. Oh well. Again, I. It should be finals because that's the thing. Actually, I don't think I have a. Uh, I don't think I have a uh, Justice Persona on me. Oh, yeah. That does for the long break, right? How were they? Perfect. Oh. Oh, you have a good look on that face. And have this look at your face with this. A dandy mirror. <laughs> you. You're pretty smart, huh? You showed me. So it's good and all, but men need to keep up their looks, too. Looking clean is important. Thanks, Daddy! Damn it! No! Fuck! God damn it! Well, hold on. Worrying about the character of Aiko's boyfriend, she planned a double date to check him out. Check it out. I'm a shapeshifter! Ah, wrong button. God damn it. I keep hitting the wrong button. Fortune telling to verification off from any surfaces. I have Clotho, right? I didn't use Clotho, though, right? Get myself Clotho. though. Okay. Just want to be sure. Is this? Since that you have trouble with women. There was a woman last time, too. Wait, is that... Do a verification test. Bring it on. We're not done with these tests yet. I feel like you've come closer with Clotho. though. Go hang out with Chiaia. <laughs> I'm sitting here for a climb right now, so please stay and watch. No, you're not. You're here by yourself. 
Good evening. Good evening. This is your first time coming to my stand, yes? Yeah, uh, a colleague of mine recommended you. He said you can help fix my problems, is that right? Yes. Of course, fate is absolute. So, so uh, the thing is, I'm engaged to be married. Next spring, I'll be trying to tie the knot with a friend I've been, I've had since all the way back in preschool. <laughs> That's wonderful, congratulations. So what's more you? Is it the date of the ceremony or perhaps the location of your honeymoon? Oh, um, no, it's not like that. Problem is, I'm not entirely sure we'll be able to get married. Truth is, the president of one of our major business partners offered me her daughter's hand. What? Uh, so this is what it means to be weighed down by his, his social obligations. So, um, do you think it would be bad if I declined the president's offer? <laughs> Please relax, the divine power will bring us your answer. Seen everything. Is this? Aye, it seems you will face financial ruin if you decline. No, no, does that mean breaking off my engagement is the only option? Um, uh, um, yes, son. Did I, did I accidentally skip something? I think I did. Nope, I did. Uh, um, yes, son. This may be a good time to demonstrate your powers. This man is bound to the fetters of social obligation. How should he move forward? Listen to your heart when he's calling for you. Listen to your heart. Oh, that's a wonderful suggestion. Uh, I guess anyone could have come up with that answer. Incidentally, what would you say to make his, him choose his childhood friend? Thieves might steal her away. What? Thieves? She's not a child. Wait, you really think someone else might, would try to get after her? I guess guys would line up to date such an amazing girl. Well, it's not going to, to let that happen. The only one who could make her happy is me. I was a fool for her side. Even for a moment. I, I'm going to marry her. Thank you so much. It's happened again. <sighs> so, you have altered fate once more. This fortune now states you will be quite successful. I had questioned your powers, but this is the third time. No choice. I must accept that fate can, in fact, be changed. Prove me that. <laughs> and the thanks for showing me the truth. I'll provide a special fortune service for, for you from now on. Yay. Money read. Temporarily increase money earned from battle. Right. Because money's never going to be a problem again. Um... You know, I never thought it was possible to change destiny. Are you perhaps a psychic? Not sorry. I see. I wish there was a way I could meet one. But for now, that wish only remains reminds me of my innate inability to change my own fate. I'll forever be a monster. Huh? Oh, um... But my, it's gonna it's gotten so late. I should start packing up for today. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Sorry about that. Wanted to get a quick drink of water. Before we get sucked into Igor's bullshit. <laughs> ah! What do you fuckers want? Your share of problems, inmate. Boy, do I! I think you would relax under such circumstances. Either you're quite bold, or quite foolish. I'm not really relaxing. With an unseen form. Hmm. It seems you've been targeted by troublesome company. Well, that's why they call me. Bad company. I can't deny it. Bad company. Till the day I die. Me, Majed. <laughs> I've been enjoying this endless dispute over justice. However, it will soon come to an end. And through the appearance of an unexpected force of all things. Engaging with formidable enemies is also part of your rehabilitation. I ask that you overcome this. After all, you must hone your powers and become a magnificent thief. A magnificent Okay. It 
It's really summer now. Hey, I catch you. Sweaty just walking a little bit. I didn't think Majed would pounce on the Phantom Thieves. Pounce. Interesting things keep happening this year. The influence of the Phantom Thieves knows no bounds. I underestimated it, honestly. I wonder what the public thinks of this. Are they entertained? Or perhaps inconvenienced? Entertained. Entertained, huh? A luxury for the uninvolved. I know they mean no ill intent. So this is what the public thinks. Oops. I don't have time for a conversation. My attendance has been poor due to interviews lately. Thank you for your valuable opinion. This Actually, I think none of these scenes at the train stop here were ever voiced. I'm glad that they added that. That's so cool. I don't get it. There hasn't been any news on Phantoms vs. Medjet Showdown. Which of them will come out on top? Both just cribbles pretend to be heroes. Yes, yeah, me, Medjet causes way more trouble. They attack every company they set their sights on. I see. Well, I just hope something happens soon. You gotta tell me, who do you think will win? Hey, your phone was buzzing earlier. It's a lot of messages from an unknown account. Uh oh. Nice to meet you. I'm the one they call Alibaba. I want to ask you something. You're a fan of thief, aren't you? Can you really steal hearts? Who is this? Why does he know that you're a phantom thief? Is one of our teammates pulling a prank on you? There's someone whose hearts I would like you to steal. But I'm not asking for charity, let's make a deal. You should know about Medjet, correct? I can give you information on them if you change if the change of heart is successful. If you do so desire if you so desire I can take care of them as well. Do you believe in my skills? I can track down their accounts just as I have with yours. But this is all I can prove at the moment. I prepared a necessary tool on my end. I look forward to it. Shouldn't you respond to it? How should I respond? Who is this? Can't find the accounts to send the response to. I'll get back as an error message. What row? You can't reply back? I don't know what this is all about, but we should probably let everyone know about this. Imagine, what's happening in this country? And me hilarious if the honor student fell off the podium. Is it over for the fan thieves? Hacking? I have no idea what that's like, but it sounds scary. I think they were getting a little cocky. They got what's coming for them. Probably should have had the female read the one about the, about the uh, Yokizawa, the honor student. Considering he mentioned stealing hearts, he knows, doesn't he? Seems so. How were we found out? He may have traced our chat log. How careless of us. But how would he have known all these details with just that? Do you think that there is another cause? Yeah. I'm not sure why, but that's the feeling I get. Hey, is it that easy to look at someone else's chat log? I don't know much about it myself, but it's probably not impossible, I think. I mean, we should always How's delete our done? chat logs, but... Maybe they extracted our phone's data? Why is he getting an error when he tries to reply? Perhaps the receiving end doesn't exist. That's possible? Don't ask me everything. I told you that I don't know much about it. Wait. Might this be what is referred to as hacking? Then, does that mean this guy's a hacker? I don't get high-tech stuff. What does this all mean? An unknown hacker contacted us. I see. I don't really get it. Then, is this person measured? I doubt it. Considering he says he wants to deal with them. That is, only if we take his words for face value. True. Hey, wouldn't it be great if we got this guy on our side? But we know nothing about his identity at all. We can't trust him. I don't think it's a bad deal, though. Even if Alibaba turns out to be a criminal, 
I am not helping anyone of that sort. Oh, right. That wouldn't be good. All right. That I've prepared the necessary tool part makes no sense either. Could this just be a prank? He knows an awful lot for it to be a prank. It's just a prank, bro. If he knows who we are, won't we get caught? No, if he wanted to report us, I think he would have done it already. He must have some sort of objective of his own. He did offer us a deal after all. I'm certain he'll contact us again. There's no telling when he'll do so, though. It'd be best if we stay together. If something happens, we can act at once. Yeah, so somewhere we can wait and hide for long hours. How about LeBlanc? Yeah, how about LeBlanc? Sup? with a big group good evening we were thinking about putting together plans for our summer hmm is that a new face I see it's nice to meet you my name is Makoto Nijima I hope we're not being a bother she's our student council president Nijima is something wrong Nijima. no it's nothing a student council president eh <laughs> I'm stunned. I hope he's not causing you too much trouble. I'm Sojiro Sakura, but everyone just calls me boss. Sojiro Sakura. By the way, that was addressed to you. Hmm? Uh, this old man will get going and leave you kids be. All right, the store's all yours. We have late breaking news on Medjit, whose notoriety rose since their statement the other day. Just moments ago, a Lovely. new message has been released on their website. They have announced their victory over the Phantom Thieves. Medjit also warns any Japanese citizens who praised the Phantom Thieves to stop doing so. We will report any further actions by Medjit as they arrive. Oh, come on! It's in English! Let me see. The Phantom Thieves remain silent at our question. This proves that we are just. People of Japan, wake up. Wake up, sheeple. Phantom thieves. What? That's bullshit. Keep listening. We will discipline any who worship them. The punishment is the confiscation of possessions. We are Medjed. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. That's what it says. What does that all mean? They're saying that they'll target sympathizers of the Phantom Thieves. Confiscation of possessions, hmm? Perhaps bank accounts or personal information. Either way, it won't be anything pleasant. Why the hell are we being singled out? Perhaps all they care about is labeling the Phantom Thieves as crooks. That all this wouldn't have happened had the Phantom Thieves not existed. That's complete bullshit! Talk about a troublesome organization that we've been targeted by. Isn't there yeah, anything we can me. do? It's certain we can't do anything about this on our own. Hey, so what's this letter about? I don't need any more trouble. It's rare for you to get something like this. It's an invitation to smash. It's an invitation to smash, brothers. A calling card? Anything else in there? Who's this from, anyway? There's no stamp on it. Someone must have directly dropped it into the mailbox here. Lovely. Could it have been Alibaba? That reminds me. He did mention something about preparing the necessary tool. Don't tell me. Is this what he was talking about? What the hell's going on here? All we can do at the moment is wait for Alibaba's orders. Let's brace ourselves and stand by, in case anything comes up. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. dear, dear, dear. Got really starting to heat up on the forum. I put on a special post up and everything. Shout out between the chess fan thieves and the global organization, Majet is here. Reactions have been great too, everyone's really engaged. So far most of the comments have been pro fan thieves. Most likely because of what happened in the Kanashiro case. 
So the other side say Majed are hackers of justice. But there's nothing reasonable about justice in what they do. So they want the whole side to be filled with profane thieves comments. Looking forward to when that day finally arrives. can look forward to whatever he wants. We have no means of striking back against Medjed. We're gonna be in deep trouble if we don't do something. Mm. There's that Alibaba character and now blink calling card? What the hell's going on? I don't know. Let's make some. Okay. You're in that book that I got a hand of it, so now you could probably make eight. Holy crap. I have a shit ton of this, this shit. I'm gonna make all lockpicks. Make it alone. <laughs> Yay, I got a bonus. Sucks yes. I have to reload this though. Yeah. Cause guess what? Son, the way you use your hands, you did great. Well then. Okay, let's go to bed. Let's see, that was eight. I got ten lock picks from that. So now this is all just gonna be store. This is basically gonna be I can't do anything until I learn how to get into the palace. Basically. So I'm actually excited for it, because this is actually one of my favorite palaces, is this one right here. I wish they stop that. Good morning. Hey, Kasumi. Good morning, Senpai. <sighs> Every day is so hot. I have to make water bottles so fast. By the way, summer break is coming up. Can I ask what your plans are, Senpai? I got nothing. Oh, so you're not the type to make plans in advance, I see. Then maybe you'll have a chance to practice some more. I'll be sure to give you proper instruction. Just let me know whenever you're available, senpai. Oh, the train's here. Let's get going. Hey, your phone's buzzing. Did Alibaba message you? It's just for you. Nothing? There's no A stop if he tries to get in touch with you, okay? Ryuji again? Ryuji again? Never shuts up, does he? Good day. Good day to you, too. Ah, you responded today. Once again, I am Alibaba. You're the leader of the Fanthes, correct? Who are you again? I already said I'm Alibaba. I take it you see the calling card? So it really was from this guy. Are you at school right now? Who are you again? I'll answer that question as many times as is necessary. I'm Alibaba. Now then, I've prepared the calling card for you. When are you going to steal it? Who are you again? I'll keep answering if you insist on asking. I'm Alibaba. Aren't you able to steal a heart as long as you have a calling card? Tell him. We need the name of the target. We need the target's name. A name? Is your heart thievery truly impossible without such information? It is. I see. I suppose past calling cards did have names on them. One moment. Very well, I'll tell you. I believe their name was Futaba Sakura. If you fail in this mission, I'll expose your identity to the world and to the police. Well then, I'll be counting on you. We shall speak again after the change of heart. Who is Futabasaku? Oh, fuck me. So he threatened you, then just took off? Sakura? I feel like I've heard that name before. In any case, we should let everyone know about this. We're gonna get reported if we don't do this? What the hell? Futaba Sakura? 
Wasn't Sakura? <laughs> it's boss's last name. Why did it take him that Does long to realize him? this? Does he? For reals? How laid back are you? Wouldn't you normally be introduced at least? I mean, you are living at his place. Well, his situation does make things difficult. The calling card was delivered to Boss's house. It'd be more natural to assume this is all related. One of the reasons for that is because Alibaba mentioned nothing about which Futaba Sakura. Perhaps he thinks that the name alone is enough. That makes sense. I believe it's adequate for us to think that this is the doing of someone close by. I see. I don't know how Alibaba got a hold of his smartphone information. However, since he's ordering us through chat, I do feel as though he's taunting us. Yeah. You mean, this might just be a prank? I mean, look at his demands. Pay me if you don't want me to leak who you really are. That I'd understand. But he's telling us to steal someone's heart without explaining why. So we're being tested. Regardless, I think we should ask boss about Futaba Sakura once. That's probably for the best. There's nothing else we can do at the moment, and Chief might have an idea on what this is about, too. I'll check the school's roster just in case. We must make sure boss doesn't figure out who we are. We'll have to go about this cautiously. Right. Correct the mundo. Hmm? What's up? Who's Futaba Sakura? Why do you know about that? <sighs> it's got nothing to do with you. I'm going home. Make sure you lock up the place. Looks like it's a hit. Oh, I just remembered. Ren, were you able to ask Boss about Futaba Sakura? He didn't want to talk. Could there be a reason as to why that was? My Baba might be our only hope of defeating Medjed. I wish we could get some info about Futaba out of Boss. But trying to force it out would probably have the opposite effect. To be honest, I own a great deal to both Boss and Ren. I don't wish for this to be the source of discord between them. Yeah, I know what you mean. Probably best for to wait for Boss to bring the subject up himself. Oh. Play a game. Okay. It's Star Fornus. Star Fox. This game is about space battles, huh? So I guess the little thing here is your spaceship. Well, you're blasting away the enemy ship one after another. Not bad for a beginner. Oh, there are no more enemies on screen. Did you win? Hey, wait. The music's actually similar to Star Fox as well. What the heck? That thing is huge. It must be the boss. Hey, I think you're supposed to aim for the corner in the middle. Try focusing your fire there. Press X enough times before the timer runs out. Uh, duh. All right. Nice. Amazing. It's blowing up. Wow, you actually managed to beat the level. I'm impressed. I bet jumping into Amy Barat has increased your guts. <laughs> I have zero. I had zero score. The sh the feed yeah. shows zero score, and yet I had a no miss on shooting. I had a perfect total score is ten thousand. <laughs> and yet it still says my score is zero. What kind of bullshit is that? Bullshit. Yo. Hey. Tomorrow's the end of the first semester, but ugh, we still got all this lame shit coming up. If you don't take care of this lame shit, you can kiss your summer vacation goodbye. Oh, yeah. About this Futaba Sakura girl. If she's related to Boss, think people living nearby would know about her? That's some keen intuition coming from you, Ryuji. You should have made use of that on your exams. Ugh, I never want to think about exams ever again. Anyway, asking around in your neighborhood might be the fastest way to figure this shit out. And again, I doubt it'll be that easy. It never is. Never is. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. 
<laughs> Summer vacation starts the day after tomorrow, but don't forget. There's an urgent assembly on Monday. We'll be taking attendance. There's been an unusual number of strange instances here. So don't do anything stupid over break. Got it? Don't go someplace shady like the red light district. And don't go to the beach after dark. I don't want to go to the beach. I want to jump in some cold water. Seems like we won't be having fun on our summer break for a while. Nope. Mm -hmm. Yuji might be right. We don't have a single clue. Might as well try. We've got nothing to lose. Let's head to Yonkin and gather info, info around the neighborhood. Rutaba? Rutaba? Yes, I know that name. Heard it somewhere before. Here I guess that's the name of the teacher I had a crush on back when I was in elementary school. Let's ask some other people too. Is there anyone down here? Sucker's son's single, right? I thought he didn't have any children. Let's ask other people. Hey, an actual cat. That's cool. Did you want to listen in? You know, the fan thieves are a dangerous side since their opinions of the email attacks. What's this rubbish about fan thieves? They're not real. There's no way people like that are real. The fuck? Oh, hey! More cats are showing up. Oh, is this because of uh, what we did for that one Mementos one? That's cool if that's the case. Utaba? No, no, I don't know who that. Java, who knows? By the way, do you eat a lot? What are you talking about? Whenever boss buys food, it's enough to feed three people. What, you're telling me you don't actually eat that much? Maybe it's boss who eats a lot then. That's. Oh my god, I just keep seeing more cats! That's so cool! Utaba? Who's that? I don't think I know anyone by that name. Mm, I thought, wouldn't this for Daba get angry if they found out you're snooping on them, though? Oh, hey, delivery dude. Daba? Mm, nope, don't know anyone like that. I've come to Sucker Sons often to make deliveries, but I've never seen who you're talking about. So, up until now, our biggest lead seems to be the Chief buys a lot of food. Far more than enough for one person living alone. Let's check out all the shops where you can buy food. This place is close to LeBlanc, so we might be able to learn something here. Hey there, welcome. Hmm, Futaba? Over at Sakura-san's? I haven't heard anything. Uh, sorry. Come Thanks, again. Jiraiya! Hmm. We didn't find anything on Futaba. I think our only option now is to go home and ask the chief directly. You read the letter, did you not? So you're the one who tipped him off about Futaba. You really shouldn't have done that. I have no intention of talking to you about Wakaba. But Wakaba! Off. What are you talking about? Back to the matter at hand. Your parental authority will have to be suspended. I take it you're okay with that outcome? What? what? Considering the state of your daughter and your family overall, there are no points in your favor. Would you like to take this to domestic court? Our chances of victory are roughly 99.9% .9 though. With these suspicions of abuse, there's no way you could avoid having your custody revoked. You're going that far? I told you I don't know a damn thing about it! We're extremely serious about this. As long as there's a possibility that cognitive science can be linked to psychotic breakdowns. Cognitive? Fine. You win. Thank you. I will contact you at a later date. I doubt you'll find anything you want to hear, though. That's fine. It will be up to us to decide whether the information you give us is useful or not. Next time I come here, it will just be for a nice cup of coffee. And stay out! That woman is real good at pissing people off. What's with that look? You got something to say? What was that? This doesn't involve you. Hmm. 
Where is Futaba? That's enough. Just behave yourself. Keep going to school if you don't want me to throw you out of here. You got that? Lock the store up. Well, that basically confirms Futaba exists, at least. Yeah. But it sounds like she's got her own problems. More so, our conjecture that Alibaba is connected to LeBlanc seems to have a pretty solid foundation. Oh, and didn't they mention cognitive something? I wonder what the chief's hiding. We can't really press him on the subject, though, especially after he mentioned throwing you out. Nope. Yeah, how'd it go? Find anything out about Futaba Sakura? I've been wondering about that too. Day tomorrow. Woohoo! So you didn't learn something fun, what? I knew we could count on you. Thank you. Thank you. All right then, let's all meet up tomorrow. It's not going to be as great as you think it is. Jailbreak. Prison break. What the hell are you doing here? Don't tell me you busted into prison to rescue me. You're innocent, right? Come on, let's get you out of here. That is the name of the show, it was Prison Break. Story about a man who went to prison for his older brother, but now he's trying to escape. Yep. Piece of cake. Yep. I can make black picks, so escaping from prison would be a piece of cake. Hey, hey. Protagonists use all sorts of skills to escape from prison. Maybe you'll learn a thing or two about proficiency from watching this drama. Hmm. Need proficiency and kindness to be at level well, four. Well, it's starting to get late. Let's head to bed. Let's head to bed soon. A woman was threatening boss? Yeah, a woman. Yeah. She was going on about domestic abuse and taking the case to court and stuff. Oh. What's you, up? Know, you know who it is, Makoto Nijima! So to summarize what you told us, Futaba is boss's daughter, and he's abusing her? I don't know him very well. Is he really the kind of person who would do that? Fuck no, there's no way! I would like to believe so as well, but we don't have any conclusive evidence, do we? Rot row. Is it Alibaba? I've given you a calling card and told you the target's name. You should be ready for this. Why aren't you doing it? I told you I'd help if you stole our heart. What seems to be the holdup? I also said I'd report your identity to the police if you don't, didn't help me. Are you okay with that? I'm serious here. A selfish person. Well, he does have information on us. Anyways, this Futaba he's talking about have a palace? If so, I need keywords to get in. Try messaging him about it. Give me your keywords. Keywords? What are you talking about? Are you just saying random stuff that does the issue? What are we supposed to do about this? We'd be able to figure out Alibaba's identity if we could just meet with him. Try asking him if there's any way we could meet up. I'm gonna meet you. Meet with me? That will be difficult. I have reasons for not being able to go out. That's why I'm contacting you like this. He can't go out? Wait, I get it. You steal people's hearts directly. That might make things difficult. Extremely difficult. One moment. I'm thinking. Okay, it's a shame, but I'm calling this deal off. Stop looking into Futaba Sakura. Forget this ever happened. I won't report you to the police either. Don't worry. Sorry for taking your time. Now, if you excuse me. Wait a second! I said the deal's off! You're never going to speak again. Don't expect me to contact you anymore. We're not done here! Fuck, fucking hell! Huh? Did he just shut the whole operation down? I just love to think that Ren would be like, Yes, come on, bastard! Sense. That's a Toss his phone to the ground like ah! out, but he won't let us meet Futaba either. Of course he wouldn't do that. Well, it's none of our business now. We can't contact him anymore. But what do we do about Medjed? We won't be able to get Alibaba to help us with them now. Maybe they were just pranking us. They made that huge declaration, but they ain't done nothing since. <laughs> I bet we got them freaked out. You mean they backed out because they're afraid we'll change their hearts? Yep. And now it'd just make them look lame if they came out and apologized. But super lame if they just came out and apologized. Just without out of the picture, can we just say this case is closed? Ah. You do have a point. 
I guess it is safe for us to relax a little. Oh yeah, remember Kaneshiro's treasure? Prepare to have your minds blown. Okay. We got 150,000 yen out of it. That's a lot of muns. That's awesome. We can really go all out with that kind of money. Yeah. Let's make up for what happened at the fireworks festival. We gotta go eat something fitting for the Phantom Thieves' worldwide debut. Where would be good? Ooh, how about sushi? I could really go for some eel too. The best method is to fill yourself on ginger before beginning to eat sushi. That is my master technique. You don't need to do that this time. Actually, definitely don't do it. God, I want sushi. I'm all for sushi. I might just go to the grocery yeah, store that's like right across the street from me and just get sushi. Granted, it's probably not as great as we like getting from a restaurant, but I don't care. Sushi's fine. Then it's decided. All right, we'll go tomorrow night. Yeah. I wonder if all the Mad Jet business was just a prank. Now I think about it calmly, it's strange that they haven't actually done anything yet. If their goal is to target the fan thieves, they should, uh, should want to be acting now, given our fame. Huh? When you put it that way, it kind of makes me wonder too. Especially after they taunt us the theatrically like that. Yes, however, it would be best for us to come up with a countermeasure regardless. For now, though, we should count... Cautiously enjoy the sushi. That is all we can do. Yeah. That's no fun. Yusuke is right. I'm sorry, to, sorry for bringing this up on the day before our celebration party, too. Cheer up, Makoto. We'll be eating sushi like kings tomorrow. I hope one person in particular is on their best behavior. I'll refrain from saying who, though. You better not be talking about me. Dude. He is. <laughs> Masquerade. I'm actually curious. I want to... Nope, it's not there. Damn it. I was like curious because the one... The check... I have my windows open. I have my fucking windows open. I don't think this ever happened before. Um, But the one time that I... uh, You know, when I checked the crosswords for another thing that had the previous puzzle on, so... All right, so we have two more days before we get to the thing. God, we'll be. Look at my back. See the map. If we take this route instead, we might stand a chance. Men are crafting a detailed plan to escape from prison. That's incredible. And the guards are making small gadgets. How do they think of all that? Mm-hmm. Oh. You finished watching Jailbreak, huh? Maybe you'll learn more about proficiency. Hmm. Quite busy, Sai son. I take it you're stuck in the middle of everything. The Phantom Thieves made a mockery stuck of us in when the they middle brought down Kaneshiro. With you. And to make matters worse, Medjid, who has been dormant for some time now, just declared war on them. How much war. more can they screw cool. us over? What is it good Stress for? Is bad for the skin, you know. Did you come all this way simply to be sarcastic? Oh yes. It's How about you listen to my trait. deductions for a change of pace? You may think it absurd. But, don't you think the case you're pursuing and the actions of the Phantom Thieves overlap somehow? What are you basing this off of? The one point of commonality across all cases is how those involved have an unforeseen change of heart. I've suspected that myself, but those suspicions are unfounded. I told you at the beginning that this was only a deduction. These just Phantom Thieves are riling up the public. However, that is a disguise. Their true goal is terrorist action by way of psychotic breakdowns. Is that too much? There's nothing at the moment that falsifies that claim. Have you mentioned this to the police? I'd never tell them such things. The only value they have to me is in their mobility and organizational capabilities. Hmm. It seems having you lend me a hand has paid off. I'm glad to hear that. What about your case, Sai-san? 
Did you learn anything from the guardian of that mental shutdown victim's daughter? Nothing at all. I see. Now, what should my next action be for our victory? Handle the phantom thieves without remorse. Use any means necessary without to win. Without remorse. That's how I would deal with them. <laughs> Very well. This seems to be fun for you. Are you on to something? No, not at all. Well then, to our victory. Okay. Time for sushi! Places in Ginza, right? Do we take the usual train from Shibuya? Stop. Man, the flounder is out of this world. Mm. That texture. That texture. Uh, I don't see any prices listed here. It's called market price. Don't worry about it. We got the cash. So good. Hey, is the fatty tuna ready yet? Hold your horses and don't talk. And don't talk. By the way, is Boss really the kind of person who would abuse someone? That again? I can't get it off my mind. Especially if it means he could be taken to court. What kind of person is he? Do you truly believe he'd do such a thing? He's pretty strict. No chance. That's what you got. Hmm. Up against the machine. If it's really strong, true about the abuse, politicians be a no good jerk pretending mom, to be a puppet. Maybe the chief is the one who needs a change of heart. Hold on a sec. About that. I actually got curious after our conversation and checked his name in the nap. Sounds to me like there wasn't a hit. Nope. Right. He's a good boy. Anything beyond this is his family's problem. We probably shouldn't get any more involved. Wait, you think Alibaba could be boss's ex-wife? He must have cheated on her and that's where Futaba came from. Doubtful. Your imagination has run rampant. How foolish. How foolish. How stupid of you, Ryuji, you mm. dumb idiot. But still, this is delicious. I've never experienced anything quite like it before. Man, and it's all thanks to us being the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> hey guys, we're the Phantom Thieves! Crap. God, I love that um, that became a meme. Everywhere we go, we hear about these phantom thieves. Thanks, I guess. What rubbish. What rubbish? Sorry, dude. I Think can hear your voice are, here. Ryuji. I want to. What rubbish? What rubbish? What rubbish? Nah. Sorry, it just kind of. You don't sound familiar to me. My apologies for bringing up boss. What again. rubbish? What we rubbish? We should just enjoy the food. Ijima-san, what are you doing here? Akechi-kun. Akechi? You're the one from the TV station. Could it be that you're friends of Nijima-san? Do you know this guy? It's nice to meet you. My name is Akechi. Glad to make your acquaintance, Yusuke Kitagawa. Yusuke Kitagawa. How do you know my name? Well, because I'm a psychic, of course. <laughs> I'm only joking. In truth, I'm a rookie detective. Sup? You're a former pupil of Madarame, right? I have actually just recently joined the investigation team looking into the Phantom Thieves. Did you see that Mejed has declared war on them? War? Their website was updated just a moment ago. For real? Die English again! Wait, what? What's it say? Huh. Why do you seem so agitated? Oh, um... She's, uh, a huge fan of the Phantom Thieves. A total nut job for him. Hmm. I don't know how wise it is to be a fan of groups like them. 
What is with these comments? My apologies. I didn't mean to butt into your conversation. But I must say, this is an interesting group. Prosecutor Nijima's sister. Yes, very interesting Marani, indeed, won't you say? And a few Shujin Academy students. It seems you're all connected to the Phantom Thieves. Perhaps you have better intel than I do. Ah, yes. I wanted to ask you something. Regarding this whole Mejed commotion, if you were one of the Phantom Thieves, what would you do? Ignore, uh, ignore them. I don't care. Retaliate. I just love how I'm holding out the sushi theme, like, right there. It's like, do-do-do-do-do. Just retaliate. Hmm. So you share the majority's opinion. Sorry to disappoint, but we're just normal high school kids. If anything, we want to hear what you got to say, Mr. Detective. My profiling of the Phantom Thieves has led me to believe they are a group of juveniles. They have a relative amount of free time after school and a hideout to slip away to. Furthermore, considering Kamashita was their first target, it seems they began activity around April. In a way, all I've just said about the Phantom Thieves coincides with the group you have here. I don't know what you're talking about! I didn't say I was being suspicious of you. Good to hear. Here's this one. Ryuji's a fan of me. Good to hear. <laughs> it seems you're not perturbed in the slightest. You really are an intriguing one. I lack your calm mannerisms, but don't you think my deduction is an interesting one? I bet we'd make a great team if we worked together. <laughs> what the hell are you saying? Well, this has been a valuable point of reference for me. I hope to see you all again. In the original, that's when what your next uh, sub you confidant rank ranked up indeed. was at yeah, this interaction. Nah, it couldn't be. Right? I'd like to say that it's simply us overthinking this, but maybe best to be cautious from now on. We shouldn't forget that Did all I of level up? Yeah, I leveled up Fortune. I need to check her out. I haven't done that yet. True. But it's not as though I'll do that when I have free time. To prove that discovery. Well, like just I said, today and tomorrow is going to just be heavy. Well, I can't do shit. Are getting serious with Majed. Oh yeah, what did they write? Here, I'll read it. We are disappointed in the people of Japan and disappointed. Their false justice. Hence, we shall proceed with our plan to cleanse Japan. This process will commence on August twenty-first. As a result, the Japanese economy shall suffer devastating damages. For real? Keep going. However, we are magnanimous. We will give the Phantom Thieves one final opportunity to repent. As proof of this repentance, we demand that they reveal their identities to the public. We will attack if these demands remain unmet. The future of Japan rests with the Phantom Thieves. We are Majed, we are unseen, we will eliminate evil. That's what it says. Mm, sounds bad. In other words, if we don't unmask ourselves, Majed will attack Japan, correct? And it seems they are quite the attention seekers. What are we going to do about this? Only we could get in contact with Alibaba. Our only clues are Boss and Futaba. Anyways, it's too damn hot out here. Why don't we go to LeBlanc? We can talk more over there. We went through all sorts of options on our way here, but... Looks like we got no choice but to ask for Alibaba's help. Question is, how do we get in touch with him? He cut off all contact with us after that misunderstanding. Then again, if we manage to steal Futaba's heart, he may attempt to reach out to us once more. But we don't have any clues on what her keywords are. Damn it, Alibaba! Where the hell are you? Actually, he may be closer than we think. Mm hmm. Huh? Hypothetically speaking, even if we stole Futaba's heart, how would Alibaba know that the deed has been done? Would he truly be able to discern that just from cell phone messages? You mean he'd have to meet her in person? Alibaba was able to deliver the calling card here. On top of that, he can check on Futaba's condition. However, according to the circumstances he put forth, 
He's unable to meet with us. This leads me to believe that it would be bad for him if we were to see the two of them together. It seems to me, Alibaba may in fact be Futaba herself. For real? So she's asking that we steal her own heart? Maybe she wants us to save her from the scars of her abuse. That would be hard to ask directly. I'd like to meet with Boss. He lives nearby, right? I know where his house is. Let's break and enter. I agree. It's real late, though. What are we going to tell Boss when we get there? We'll say this takeout sushi is a gift for him. But my fatty tuna! My fatty tuna. No complaining. Let's all go together. Boss may get the wrong idea if he and I show up alone. Nobody's answering. But the lights are on. This is something I never understood in vanilla. They had all that voice. Then we got here. For some reason, they did not have us being outside of the house voiced. They had the next scene. Spoiler alert, we're going to go inside the house in like two minutes. Less. They had that scene voiced. Why couldn't they have voiced these lines? I'm glad they fixed that now. Think she's napping? Even Boss would have woken up with how many times we've rung this doorbell. I would think Futaba would have answered by now if she were here too. Oh, the gate is unlocked. Dude, you can't go opening other people's stuff like that. But look, the door seems to be slightly open as well. I wonder why. That's rather careless. Whoa. It sounds like it's going to rain. We should get inside. Do you think that's okay? I don't know. Probably. My apologies, boss. Hello, sir? Hello. Prepare for one of my favorites. I so laughed out fucking he? loud during this. Is open and I can this hear is the, the best. This is the fucking best. Hope he didn't pass out or something. I mean... Boss is kind of old, ain't he? I'm a bit worried. Should we go in and check on him? Please excuse us. Ah! Ah! Scream? What was that? How should I know? Did you hear that? Let's get out of here, please! Can we just go? What are you freaking out for? I I'm not freaking out! Could it be Alibaba? <laughs> I mean, Futaba? This is the best. It's the fucking best. Uh, sorry, um... Can I hold your hand? <laughs> I can sense someone's presence. So who is it? Oh my god, I know it's coming, but I'm still gonna laugh like crazy because it's fucking good. No, no, my legs won't move. <laughs> I love her face here too. She's like, ah. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I, I, I could hear the deal, but you could hear. Spoiler alert, that's Futaba. You can hear Futaba scream too. Here, let's see if they'll play it. Let's see if they'll play it in the log. <coughs> or is that just Makoto's scream? I thought Futaba also screamed. Ah, whatever. Ah! Oh, that still gets me. It's so fucking hilarious. It's so fucking hilarious. I even made a shit post on this, like, I think the day after that part came out on my channel. I made a shit post on my other channel, uh, the Kingdom Kid channel, which is kind of like my personal, quote unquote, personal blog channel, shit posts and stuff like that. I made a video and I put the music, I always feel like somebody's watching me and I have no privacy. Oh, 
behind that scene. It's so fucking hilarious. You're a hacker, right? Just hacker. show yourself. <laughs> Crap, he's home. Who the hell are you? Don't move. Did you hear me? I'm oh, no, you can just see so on right there. She's like, eh? Somebody please save me. <laughs> Hi. You? What are you doing in my house? I came with sushi. You're. Oh, good, good, good evening, sir. Good morrow, sir. That we didn't mean to intrude. Nijima-san. Wait, are, are you two dating? No. We're just friends. We're not that far in our confidant link, Sojuro. Friends nowadays get that close to each other. But that's not it. This, um, uh, things happened and. You kids are here too? Um, we brought you some sushi, but nobody answered when we rang the bell. The door was unlocked too. We could hear the TV though, so we got worried he might have passed out or something. The door was unlocked? Yes. Uh, yes. I do that sometimes. Because I'm getting old. Um, excuse me. There's something we'd like to ask. Huh? You want to ask me? There's someone else living here, isn't there? Yeah, my daughter. Yeah, my Could daughter. Could she be Futaba Sakura? You told Nijima-san too? Uh, um, is there any way <laughs> to <laughs> meet with Futaba-san? <laughs> I think we may have frightened her earlier, so we'd like to apologize if at all possible. Well, uh, that's... Is she sick? No, no, it's not like that. I don't want you all getting the wrong idea. I shouldn't have kept this a secret from you. Let's talk at my shop. She'll hear us if we stay here. Mm. But she will not not hear us no. at the shop too. Where do I start? Futaba's mother and I knew each other long before Futaba was born. Her mother was a bit of a weird one, but we got along well for some reason. She was sharp-witted, somewhat stern, a little socially inept, but always carefree. She truly was a great woman. I see. When something piqued her interest, that'd be all she focused on. She always worked deep into the night. I thought that had changed after her kid was born. But having Futaba didn't do much. Even with that, she always took good care of her. Working and watching over a child at the same time sounds rough. I guess raising Futaba alone turned out to be tough on her in more ways than one. Alone? There wasn't a father. Do oh. you mean... Well, there probably was one. I didn't know him, though. She never said a word about him, either. She was single when she gave birth to Futaba, and single when she raised her. They were an ordinary, loving family. You could really tell how much she cared for Futaba. <sighs> but one day, she left, leaving Futaba behind. Did she die? Yes. She committed suicide. Suicide? Threw herself into the street. Right in front of Futaba's eyes. Yikes. Shocking doesn't begin to describe that. It's gotta be devastating for a kid. So... Well, a lot happened after that, but I ended up taking custody of Futaba. First, she was so depressed, she... She wouldn't even talk to me. Was that because she couldn't get over her mother's suicide? I kept talking to her, though, and she started opening up to me, little by little. That's when I found out Futaba blames herself for her mother's death. 
What? But why? That part she's never told me. I wanted to know what led her to believing that. But I decided not to rub salt in the wound. Then, a few months ago, she started getting real scared. Even when nothing was happening, she'd say things like, I hear voices and mom is looking at me. Visual and auditory hallucinations. Have you taken Futaba to a doctor? I wanted to, but she refused. Even when I had a doctor come, she locked herself away in her room. Since then, she's become what you'd call a shut-in. She won't take a single step outside the house, or even try to see other people. What about you? She doesn't even let me come in her room. That's pretty harsh. Futaba is, well, a unique girl. She's so quick-minded that conversations with her tend to jump from one topic to the next. It seems like she's always coming to conclusions in her head. There's a lot I don't get about her. Hmm. So, yeah, her situation is why I couldn't let you in my house. Oh, eh, don't worry about it. I'm Thanks. fine. This place is fine. What Futaba needs is a safe place where nobody will threaten her. Somewhere she can be at ease. That's why I won't do anything she doesn't want. I don't make her do anything she's unwilling to, either. And again, I know that's no way for her to live. It's all I can do, though. What does Futu Futuba? Futaba want? I don't know. She just asks me for things that she wants, like food or these complicated books. Well, that's that. So, can you just leave her be? I'm gonna head back then. You all had better head home soon, too. I feel awful for prying into his personal affairs. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why well, Futaba no. wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. Any clues? I don't know about this. It's possible. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Why the hell do you have to say it like that? I mean, I guess it works, but What's still. The... Why did he Stop have to say it like that? So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. Well, it's just distorted Morgana? desires. Well, I haven't seen him for some time. Not to be evil to have desires that become so, distorted. Ever since we went inside Boss's house? Somewhere around there. He'll be fine though. He's a cat after all. He's a cat after all. Shutting down for the night soon, so we should probably be heading home. Right. We have to go to school in the morning after all. Oh right. Oh Urgent right. assembly. An assembly? What about? Shujin has been garnering a lot of attention ever since Medjet called out the Phantom Thieves. So they need to remind us not to say arbitrary stuff online and add more fuel to the fire. We gotta meet up for every goddamn little thing. <sighs> Talk about a pain in the ass. I mean, it is our fault. Anyway, let's contact each other afterward. I mean, yes, I know about that on. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why I love Futawa's room here. It's messy as hell, but I love it. Mother. She'd like to discard her feelings of pain. I can't tell if it's because the camera's moving, but if you look at that one, I think it's because the camera's moving. But look at that one trash bag. You see stuff like moving around in there. We may be able to stand up to Medjet. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that going to be enough? What the? She's got one. So someone can have a palace, even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. You know, I... No! I think it would have been funny if Morgana was there. I mean... Where'd Morgana go? Oh well, who cares? I'm leaving. Morgana and I pass each other. Should wait until tomorrow. 
What? I pass each other. I'm not leaving. Seems I need to give him more nutrients. Mega nutrients. I think my guy has to come back. Fine. You should go to bed. Were you oh, just hi. going to go to sleep without even wondering where I was? I take it the chief told you about Futaba, and then you guys disbanded in relief for now? Where were you? Hmm. You can't underestimate my intel gathering skills, you know. I was checking out the chief's house. I didn't think our Alibaba would be so young. Like a year younger than me. What was she like? What was my future wife she like? Long hair and a pretty young-sounding voice. Well, she's adorable. Young, she sounds just like Jesse from this Final Fantasy VII game I've been best. playing. At the very least, she's surely no amateur. She amateur. completely overheard your conversation with the chief, and she can hack into our chats too. Even if she can't take Medjed down directly, she might have some kind of lead on them. What an odd, beautiful girl. In any case, we'll need to rely on Futaba to get closer to Medjet. Well, let's meet up again tomorrow. How about we do it in here? It's way too hot outside. Anyway, make sure you let everyone know. Yep. We find our third and final hideout is here in LeBlanc. Up. Futaba Sakura? She had one of these palaces? Hold on. While Medjid was targeting you, you chose to deal with someone completely unrelated to them? That's right. Well, they were an unseen enemy. Then how was Medjid... What you said about the Sakura family generally falls in line with our investigation. It appears you aren't feeding us a false testimony. Then why would I? I'm not lying to you. <laughs> oh damn! I forgot to check. If you're um, lucid enough for jabs, you can get back to Was it fortune? Yeah, I think it was fortune. It's still unclear to us as to how the phantom thieves dealt with Medjed, since their identity is unknown. If you tell me something coherent, I may be a little more willing to believe you. Seems Sainijima is starting to seriously listen to what I have to say. Hey, social link up. <laughs> Rank two. All right. Oh shit! I mean, granted. Where we're at, Still, to think the phantom thieves would have we shouldn't have that confidant, but we have the confidant. This is weird. <gasps> what a coincidence. No, perhaps it's fate. Regardless, we don't have time to waste. Continue with your story. Alrighty. I'll just have to double check to make. I I think I have judgment. I think it showed. Yeah, I showed it off when we got it. Was it last stream or no? It was a stream prior. It was a stream prior. No, Seriously? it was last stream. Seriously, so on an emergency meeting right when Silver Break is starting? Because they need to set some rules when the world's eyes are on us because of the fan thieves. Stuff like, don't do anything that will hurt the school's reputation. Spend your summer break quietly. I can't. I can't stay quiet with all this excitement going on. Imagine that statements was insane. People in Japan, you must not worship the fan thieves, they say. Could be a joke. Let's talk that this could lead to the biggest leak of private data to date. What are they going to target another site? Curious to see how the fan thieves react. It's what I'm looking forward to most this summer. It'll be the perfect escape from exam studies. The Fanthies need to take action. They're the ones Majed is after. <sighs> this is bigger than I thought. Can't leave this be. You're right. Yep. Let's get this assembly out of the way. We have our own business to attend to. Morning. Oh, hey, Ren. Morning. Hmm? Is there something over there? Come on, let's go. We're gonna be late. I love that people just pop up in here, too. It's so great. Grant's only been party member so far, and yo, she's out with that one time. Oh, an assembly. Our school's done for. I don't care what the principal has to say. It's so stupid. I wish they could change their hearts. Why would I not think about our rep? Why I be taken? I should check if there was a photo taken at the sushi theme. Probably not. Man, that assembly had me bored to tears. You got Big Bang Burger. Huh? Did you have school too, Yusuke? I'm doing laundry, so these are the only clothes I had to wear. 
You really should buy a couple more outfits. Come now, we didn't gather here to make small talk, now did we? Let's get to Alibaba's case. Well then, I'll start. It looks like Futaba was listening in on LeBlanc. But why would she want to listen in on the cafe? I have no idea. It's just like Boss said. She's a tough nut to crack. In any case, her hacking skills will be absolutely necessary if we wish to stand up to Medjet. Going yep, by yep, what yep. she has told us, we may even be able to identify who they are. We'll have to trust in her skills for now, then. Anyway, we found out that Futaba has a palace. But can someone who isn't evil have one? That doesn't matter. A palace is the materialization of distorted cognitions brought about by strong desires. That's all. It just so happens that a lot of warped people turn out evil. She's so young, though. Pain she's gone through must be the cause of her distortion. Yeah. Maybe that has something to do with why she calls herself Alibaba. According to the Chief's story, Futaba has auditory and visual hallucinations, right? There's a chance those are related to some important memories she's holding. It's hard to explain, but those memories may have been warped by the distortions. Basically, we just gotta steal her treasure, right? Well, yeah. So, do we all agree about taking on Futaba's palace? She's asked us to do so. I don't think that part is an issue. If we heal Futaba's heart, it will not only help Boss, but she can then assist us with Medjet. I agree. I've been wondering about how Boss said a lot happened after Futaba's mom died, too. Hold on a second. Our investigation of her palace may not go like anything we've done up to this point. Why's that? Having an individual ask you to steal their heart is an extremely irregular case. There's no telling what the palace ruler's disposition will be like, or the distortion that'll be there. It's gonna be we crazy. We may run into some unforeseen situations. Do you still want to go in? Yes, let's do it. All right. Let's just make sure we're cautious. Well, let's get cracking on those keywords, huh? The ones we have at the moment are Futaba Sakura and Sojiro Sakura's house. We got the who and the where, so all that's left is the what, right? Let us try going to their house first. Boss is busy running the cafe, isn't he? We should make sure he doesn't suspect anything. Important memories, huh? I'll be able to remember everything if I turn back into a human, right? I hope so. That or, you know. To be the case. I definitely want this mission to succeed. If we can retrieve Futaba's memories, then I bet we can get mine back too. In any case, it's not every day you stumble upon a hacker like her. Hacker. Huh? You really do have a gift, don't you? I'm just lucky. You sure live up to my expectations. Since the firm result for Morgana. So I need to read her. I need to read Morgana's. I need to read Sai's. I need to read Chiaya's. Ace tools allows you to craft all infiltration tools. All right. Neat. No, no, no. Hey, they went on without us. Let's hurry and catch up to them. I love how all our bags fit nicely on the. No, the last keyword. Uh, couch there. She's a shut in. So we just gotta figure out what she thinks her house is. If she can't get out. Maybe a prison? Perhaps a labyrinth with an unknown exit. I think that would have been cool. Maybe an oasis? You're close! Nothing so far. In that case, how about hell? Uh, we don't have nearly enough clues. If only we could ask her directly. We can! Come on, let's go see Futaba. But what will we say to get in? What do you mean? We're sneaking in. You have to be joking. You Won't have to be, be joking. For sure this time. I'll take care of that. Oh, and I figured out where Futaba's room was when I snuck in last night. What if we run into Boss though? There's no way we'll be able to avoid his questions. He's at work now, so I think we should be fine. Oh, getting cold feet, Makoto. Don't no, worry, you're Loads of shit like this already. 
This is our only choice, I right? I hate that you said I that to me, Ryuji. Like, we already broke it in or into places before. She's like, oh my god, Ryuji. Yeah. Let's do this. This is Futaba's room. Futaba chan, you're in there, right? There's no answer. Futaba chan, are you there? I'm sorry for being startled and screaming yesterday. It was so dark that I got scared. No reaction whatsoever. No reaction. Ah, this is gonna be hard. Ah, this is gonna suck. You're listening, right, Alibaba? Prince Alibaba. Alibaba. Why are you here? Why is she only reacting to that name? You're Futaba Sakura, aren't you? She's not responding again. Does she not like us saying her name? We don't have time to dally around. We need her keyword before dealing with Alibaba's identity. We want to learn more about you. If we don't do so, we can't steal your heart. The reason why we came here is because we need the keyword to enter your palace. That's why we want to talk with Futaba Sakura herself, and not Alibaba. You don't have to show yourself. Just answer some questions for us. Chat messages are fine. I love Futaba so much. Okay. All right, then. Our leader, the guy who lives in LeBlanc's attic, wants to speak with you. We're counting on you. Try and get a keyword out of her. What do you want to hear? What's this house do? What's this house look like? How's it living in this house? It's painful. Why? Do you hate it? Why don't you go out? Why don't you go out? I can't leave this place. I'm going to die here. What? Die? You actually have to... Is this going to continue? You actually have to pick those ones. It does not advance. They're like, you gotta pick a different one. Why do you think that? Why? This place is my tomb. Tomb? You think that's it? Try entering tomb! Input accepted. Searching for route to destination. We got it! Yeah, boy! Is that add enough? Yes. It was plenty. You haven't forgotten your promise of helping us if we complete your request, right? I haven't. We made a deal. Well then, let's hurry up and go. And clicky. Clicky! Ah, oh, damn it! it! Don't activate it here! Ryuji! Walk, walk, and we're being Stardust Crusaders now. So desert. Yes, yeah, I made that joke then that. during my initial playthrough. Wait, what the? Our, our clothes are still the same? Futaba herself is asking us to steal her heart. It'd be odd if she saw us as a threat. If she doesn't see us as an enemy, then your clothes don't change. That's how it works. But more importantly, I told you to be cautious. Why'd you activate it like that? Is that why we ended up in a desert? Where's the tomb? Oh, it's so damn hot here. Even though we entered right in front of her room, we didn't end up inside it. She must really want to keep people away from her. Mm, I see. What a bleak feeling this place has. Yeah. It's the complete opposite of Kanashiro's bank. Let's hurry up and get going. Where's the palace? Is it that way? The way oh, towards yeah. the light. There's something shiny. A tomb in the desert. I see. Anyway. Tomb in the desert. Oh Alibaba. Lie Egyptian. Isn't that kind of far? Things. Are we gonna walk? Of course not. My paws will get burned. I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. The AC on full Thanks. You're so considerate. Akihiko. Fuck, why did that take me so long right. to remember the name of the guy from Persona right. 3? Let's roll. That took me way too long to remember Akihiko's name. I'm ashamed. It's so 
still beats opening the windows to the hot desert air. Yep. Hey, On, can I have a drink? Didn't you have mineral water? I drank it already. <laughs> How are the guys? Hmm. <laughs> 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 What'd she even do? Is that it? There we go. There we go. Working at all. What the hell was that loop oh, on air about? That was the best I could do, so quit your yapping. For real? You are so half assed. What was that? Getting some feedback. You fight punk? Hope everything's good. Jeez, shut up. Shut up! So don't make me more irritated. To think her palace would be a pyramid. Hey, a pyramid's a tomb, right? Yes, it's a pharaoh's tomb. That's how it's mostly known. But there are a variety of theories on it. For instance, it's even said to be a device for reviving the dead. Reviving the dead? Hmm? It's beautiful nonetheless. It's perfectly conformed to the golden ratio. The golden hey, ratio! Guys, going already. Oh. I'm gonna melt. Oh. Oh man. Uh, it's still freaking hot. Come on, let's get inside. Yep, still gonna party on with these party people here. Actually, I don't think they'll let me go this way, will they? I know if they will. <gasps> it's somewhere. Although they don't let me, like, steal or anything like that. Desert with a pyramid and an oasis. Let's keep it. Keep it right. It looks like there's quicksand down below. No, you can slide down that, you silly goober. <sighs> Doing everything I can. Pretending all Sorry. what I am. Pretending I'm a Superman. Yes, they announced that Tony Hawk Pro Skaters 1 and 2 are being remastered. So, fuck yeah, that's actually pretty cool. I'm actually pretty excited for that. All right, let's go in. It seems that was past. So this is how she thinks of that house. Indeed. Who knows what may await us within? What is your call, Joker? Shall we head inside? Let's go. Okay. Okay. We'll find out more about Victoria's secret in here, right? Yes. Indeed. Well, let's head inside. I love the music oh. for this place too. Oh, it's so nice inside. Is this place air conditioned or something? Maybe because Futaba's room in reality has AC pumping through it. Either way, this is a relief. Huh? Our clothes still haven't changed even now. This has never happened to us before. What to do? It's refreshing that she doesn't see us as a threat, but we are completely surrounded by walls. I guess this is a tomb. It's probably not made to be easy to get into. Anyway, let's explore. I can see it. I can see it. These stairs go pretty far. There's way too goddamn many. Don't ask for too much. You should be happy we're not being attacked as we ascend. Oh. More importantly, I can totally sense the treasure ahead. We're getting pretty close now. These stairs seem to be headed into the heart of the pyramid. I wonder if that's where the treasure awaits. Let's go. Well, time to keep climbing then. Let's go. Do 
I see you up there, girl. Hey, girl. There's someone there. Hey, is this? That's Futaba's shadow. It isn't the real her. Oh, yeah, you've seen her face. True, this one's kind of dressed like a queen. So you're Futaba Sakura. <sighs> hey, where's the treasure? Oh my god, you it's just can't ask someone where their where treasure is. is. Hey, say something. Don't be like that. I'm sorry, Futaba-chan. It's okay, there's no need to be scared. So, can you tell us where your most treasured possession is? <sighs> this is going nowhere. <sighs> Let's just leave her. Will you guys shut up for a bit? No, fucking shut the too. fuck up! Why have you come? She talked, but... What are you saying? You want us to steal it, right? If you oh, goddamn, I forgot to check out... Ah, I'll wait. try as you might. That's rather defiant sounding. Perhaps this is that Sundere thing, where someone is harsh or sweet depending on the mood. Considering the state that Sputaba my is the ultimate in, Sundere. There is no way that you can steal it. Creepy child. You killed her! You're a plague! What are these voices? You're a plague! Why don't you say something? Murderer? You're oh. the one who killed her! So you're I just realized they haven't talked to the star yet either about hey, Yusuke's and Ryuji's new skill, too. This? They probably will when we go to the hideout next time. That's right. I did it. I did it. What? I killed I Mufasa. Killed my mother. Or my mother. I mean. What was that? My mother exists here. I will remain here. I will do so until I die. I will die. 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 Oh, hi. Our clothes. She sees us as a threat now. What's going on? Huh? Nah. Hmm? This. Again. Aw, yo, pose. Don't you say You're the one who killed her. That's right. I killed mom. Oh, I don't, don't think like that, girl. Come on, Futaba. This place is a tomb. I'll die here. That's right. Die. Don't come near me. Don't just stand there. Say something. You're God, I hate this so much. Futaba does not deserve this. No. Someone help me. Damn it. What the hell? This is bad. I'm having a hard time getting a grasp of our situation. We should yeah. regroup and... Yeah? What now? Doing! Bad day, bad day, bad day, bad day, bad day! Bad day, bad day, bad day, bad day, bad day, bad day, bad day! That's all I thought about when, uh... Morgana was like, bad, 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 bad. It's like, remember Jackie Chan Adventures, the old cartoon show that aired on. Did it air on Disney? Or was that a Cartoon Network show? I can't. I, mm, I think it was a Cartoon Network. Mm, I don't remember. It was either Disney or Cartoon Network where the Jack, the Adventures of Jackie Chan aired. And he's always like, bad day, bad day, bad day, bad day. We're safe. That was too close. Wait. Now what? Maybe we want to ask Futaba what's going on. It seems the door is shut. What should we do? I think our best option is retreating for now. This would be this won't be as simple as we expected. Why don't we prepare a little more then come back? Good idea. You're right. True. Then let's retreat for now and return to the palace another day. Tomorrow. Tomorrow's when we're going back to the palace. Spoiler alert. The date that Medjid is set for the alleged cleanse is 821. That day is fast approaching. The Phantom Thieves, whom they singled out, have not made any notable actions at this time. Will Medjid carry out their cyber terrorism? In order to stop them, we need to help Futaba Sakura before the 21st. Our deadline is about two days prior. 
So, the 19th. Meeting up in Shibuya, then coming here is a pain, right? Let's make this place our hideout for a while. Sounds good. Is everyone fine with this place being our next hideout, then? Our next and final hideout? We must take care not to be discovered by boss. There's no telling what may happen inside that pyramid. We all need to be cautious so that place doesn't become our graveyard. Man, this is gonna be one crazy summer vacation. We're dealing with international hackers and looking for a treasure in a pyramid. How can you be enjoying this? This is a crisis of whether or not our group continues on, you know? I know that. That reminds me. While we were in the Mona car, you were staring at me with a dirty look, you perv. I mean, look at your nose at everything. Shut up. It was a great view. You guys were looking too, am I right? Indeed. The pyramid's golden ratio was truly a sight to behold. It ain't what I'm talking about. I wasn't staring, Lady On. I'm a gentleman, after all. It's not that you weren't, but that you couldn't since you were transformed, am I right? <sighs> Will we be all right like this? Right out! It's now this. Not again! Mom! Well, that sucked. Is doing this really going to help us do something about Medjed? If they really intend to follow through with their threats, that would be a shame if our efforts were a waste. Medjed will definitely make a move. Alibaba! I'm checking in on your progress. How long? How much longer will it take? Your heart is more problematic than we had anticipated. Hey, Alibaba! Can you really be? Can you really do something about Medjed? Of course. Unfortunately, we have next to no evidence to support that. Can you work. Your work will be rewarded, I promise. Besides, you have no other option, do you? I suppose that's true. Can you do stuff like take down the server? Show us. Hey, don't start any trouble. That's all it would take to convince you? Alright, I ask that you take care of this quickly. Until then... Wait, are you teaching us again? This is troubling, but we need to do what we can at the moment. I have concern for Futaba herself during all this. Eh, why does it have to be during summer vacation? I don't have any other choice. Rancun has always will ignore it. We'll leave it to you to call us together. The sight of her palace bothers me too. We have to do this. Hells yeah. I want to do one more thing before we head. before we're done for the day. Hey, listen up. This horrible defense site is gone. I tried to access the URL, but it says the page doesn't exist. Through my labor has completely disappeared. Oh, do you think it's because of Medjed? No, it's Alibaba. Oh, who's Alibaba? Anyway, this has to be Medjet's doing. Is this supposed to be some kind of penalty for cheering for the fan thieves? But wait, they're totally jumping the gun. They're still tired until the cleanse. Hold on, something came up. Is this proof enough for you? What's that supposed to mean? Do you think it's a virus? Oh. What is it now? Well, uh, it looks like everything's back to normal. Sorry for making a fuss about all this. I'm gonna try and look into a little more through. See you. Was that Alibaba proving what she said earlier? Talk about a crazy thing to pull off. Yeah. Oh well. Okay. He is in a full spirit and hopes to return to human form will restore his memory. He's in recovery. Uh Fortune Teller. She finally accept fate can be changed, but lament her own unchangeable fate. At any rate, this is the good one. So you need to get her to at least rank five in order to boost. To deepen bonds with other confidants, basically make it that you can never, that they will never break. Almost. She seems to believe you a little more, knowing that you didn't lie about the Sakura residence. Okay. Gotta make more lockpicks! Permit pick? What's this? Tool that can open any number of locked treasure chests. Yes! I need that. But I need a lot of aluminum sheets and liquid mercury. 
Miss that puts nearby enemies to sleep. Increase the chance of encountering treasure demons in Talos. You know what? Let's make... How many? You know what? Let's make four of these. Yeah. And then the rest are lockpicks. Yeah. Eh, I'm gonna yes, have to reload yeah. for that anyway. I mean, I have to reload anyway for another fuck of a day. But provincially, it's level four, and I just need my All kindness right. up. Well then. Okay. I got plenty of time to do the thing I want to do beforehand. Hey, you better not have forgotten about that persona you left here. Listen carefully, you must come today. Otherwise, you shall very well lose that persona. Oh, thank God. Now then. If we want Futawa's help, we're gonna have to steal our treasure by the day before the deadline. So we have to find the treasure by the 18th and the calling card by the 2019th. It's up to you and the pals, but keep the deadline in mind, alright? Mission Startle. Crest will appear on fan side decision as rumors of fan thieves spread. Use these tips to track targets and mementos. Four mementos between shells is an expected way to gain experience. Grow stronger. up. Hey. Hey. Kemi's like, I want to see your face. I haven't seen you in like months. Before we do anything though, let's go talk to good old Chiaya and ask her to give us to do a money reading so we get more money via the the other thing. Should have read what the thing said first before I went to it. Here we go. Payday is this money? You'll take more money than usual. Hopefully you have payday coming soon. Money received when you win a battle with an all-out attack will increase today. Yes. So it's only with all-out attacks. And that's perfectly fine. Is your computer at home really safe and secure? We live in an era where we have to guard our crackers. I love that little plush thingy. It's cute. Alright, let's get the, my persona. Finally, I can get King Key back and I can actually fuse him with people now. You want to release it? I got pretty good Hopefully stats. Stronger. You want to let it out? Resist despair. Decrease the chance of being afflicted with despair. Nah, I don't care about that. Awesome. Now, I mean, I won't do this now because I gotta wait till later. But what can I make with him? I can make uh, the Kihabara, and that's it. Are you finished? What? It is time, inmate. Alrighty, there's just there's just one thing I want to do before I do anything, before we finish the stream. Let's meet up at the hideout. Excuse me, Ryuji. Hope you still recall the details of our new battle tactics. Huh? Battle tactic? Oh, you mean the stuff we talked about before the summer festival, right? Yep, still got it. Very good. What's up? What are you guys talking about? We simply discussed how it's important to spice up our battle tactics here and there. What did you say? Spice up your... 
Yeah, don't worry about it. We got something crazy to show you later. All right. Here's your USK showtime has been unlocked. I'm honestly surprised at the palace this time. Everywhere we looked was just desert. Oh, yeah. All the other ones until now have just been normal cities outside of the distortion itself. Thanks to that, we didn't even know we were in a palace our first time going into Kamoshida's. That's still part of the palace, though. The city may not have been distorted, but it was cognition. The palace rulers may have been criminals, but they were social enough to know the city layout. But Futaba probably doesn't. In fact, I'd bet she isn't even interested in the outside world. Hence why the whole thing is a bleak desert. Understandable, considering her lifestyle. I doubt many famous criminals are shut-ins like her, though. Hopefully that means we won't have to go through all this desert business in the future. That might not necessarily be the case. Many upper-class citizens travel by limo or plane, so they don't know or care about city life. A plane? Damn, that sounds pretty good. I mean, wouldn't you want to go to a palace way up above the clouds if you could? No thanks. I think a flying bank is quite enough, thanks. I have to say, though, the topic of the area outside the distortion is fascinating. Depending on the criminal, there may be an exact replica of Tokyo within their palace. I would love to examine the aesthetics of such a strange place at least once. Huh. You don't got a damn thing but art in that head of yours, huh? But it's true that an observant criminal could have a true-to-reality city in their palace. Although even if such a place did exist, it's not like we'd have any use for it. True. Alright, let's go into the palace. Let's go. Oh. Hey, we've changed our Phantom Thieves costumes. Prove she sees us as a threat now. Let's just be careful. Okay, let's do this. No slacking. Okay, so there's one thing I want to do before we end the stream here, and hopefully it doesn't take 30 minutes. It shouldn't. But I'm very excited to see how this is going to change the layout and everything. With the grappling hook and such. So still an open. We might just have to give it up on it. No point sitting around though. What do you want to do, Joker? Before no then. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Considering how long is this building is, there has to be another way in. We still we'll still we we'll have to investigate every suspicious place we see, both inside the pyramid and now. For real? I outside. You mean we gotta deal with that heat again? No complaint. Let's begin our investigation right away. Okay, girl. Hey, you're pretty. Welcome back. I had thought I would never see you again. Yeah, oh, I wonder why. I can't believe you tried to crush us with an effing boulder. You want us to steal your goddamn treasure or not? Hmm. Why don't we make a deal? You wish to proceed further, yes? A deal, you say? There is a town nearby. I would like you to take back that which the bandit there stole from me. Oh yeah, I think I remember seeing a town on the way here. If you bring what was stolen back to me, I will give you a reward. I'll even tell you how to proceed. Can't you tell us any more details? Anything about this bandit or what was stolen? You'll learn all the information you need to know once you arrive. We'll need to head outside if we want to go to the town. We can go when you're ready, Joker. Yep, this is the one thing I wanted to do. Was get the thing that the that the bandit stole from her. Hmm. We're supposed to get to this town. She says nearby. We could probably see it from here, right? Yes. Good point. Let's observe the surroundings and search for any towns that may lie beyond here. I don't know if you have to go up here, but maybe you have to. If I believe, yes, this is a stealable thing too, so. See, now they let me jump down. We. 
All right, gotta go up here. Hey. Hey, isn't that a town off in the distance? Yes, I can see what appears to be buildings over there. What do you want to do? Want to head over to the town, Jugger? It's pretty far away, so this is my chance to shine. Let's go. Hong Kong. You arrived. This has to be the city Futaba's shadow mentioned. Hmm. This looks quite desolate. She said only bands reside here, but still. Hey, I see a shadow. Be careful. Eve. Here, let me check it. I believe I want to go into that big area over here. Yes. I can say the mood of this town is definitely strange. I can't sense anyone around. Hey, you guys, you looking for something? Yeah, I thought there was someone rustling around out here. And here you all are. Welcome to the desert, fellow trader. What? What does he mean by trader? You don't care about your welcomes, or your banner, right? Just cough up the thing you stole. Ha! Well, ain't that as interesting? A group of criminals coming after the fellow trader. Well, you're gonna have to catch me if you want it. Wait! Wait, uh. Just have to scare him off, Skull. Me? I have to talk to him. Well, we'll have time to talk later. Let's go after him. Huh? Hey, I said wait, we're. You're too slow, Moron. You'll never catch me at this rate. He ran off again. Hurry up and catch him fast. It's a shadow. Watch out, Joker. Now you tired, right? What a bunch of losers. Grave robbing is a game of stamina, you know. Uh, right, got away again. This really pissed me off. I don't catch him if do nothing but follow his path. We should corner him somewhere. Corner him, but how? Well. Let's use this square from earlier. We sneak around and trap him in there. Yep. Ah. Yes! There he goes. We finally chased him into the square. Perfect. He has nowhere else to run now. Let's do this, Joker. Yo, Bandit, what's the matter? Not right anymore? Don't even think about coming one step closer. Let's talk. Don't be ridiculous. You gotta, you've gotta let me go. But you guys came to raid that tomb too, right? Why don't we work together and share the plunder? Uh, Attack us like they're the same as you. We came here to save futaba -chan. Now give us back what you stole. So you wanna do this no matter what, huh? Well, in that case, I guess I don't got a choice. Fumi Toka's confidant ability, Koma Sakaba, allows you to switch out party members mid-battle. On Ren's turn, you can select who to switch in by pressing L2 and select party in the order menu. Switching out party members will count as Ren's action for that particular turn. Also, you cannot switch out an afflicted team member. Gun! Oh, damn it. Bam, 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 bam. Oh yeah, I also moved their stuff in here too, so it's a little bit... Are you weak too? Nuclear? Got a weakness. I know for damn sure you're not going to be weak to Garu, so I'm not going to do that. But hey, lucky punch. Oh. Let's hope I can kill you with an ally attack. Or try Ryu or see how Ryuji's new Showtime theme will work. Oh, fuck. Both me. Ah, fuck. He's sad. Oh, this is even worse. <laughs> oh, here we go. Empty man. Behold, Whoa. saucy, zesty, masterpiece. Ain't nothing better than this. <laughs> Get out, dumbass! Get out, dumbass! My tree. Nice. I had a feeling that was scripted, but still, that's that's great. <laughs> Speedmaster. I'm actually Suju at the start of a battle. Okay, I can definitely get rid of one of these things. Um, heavy damage to one foe, medium to one foe, medium to all foes. Um, let's 
get rid of this one. I, I don't think All he needs right. four battle attacks, but still. One! Oh, he dropped something! Is this some kind of papyrus parchment? It looks like there's something written inside. <sighs> you know, peeking at a girl's belongings without her permission. No, it's just what the hell's happening in our heart. There's this band of those weird voices saying you killed her and who knows what else. It's a total freaking mess. Mm, that so means... does this mean that even though she's a palace widow, she can't control what happens in here? I don't know. I've never seen a case like this. To be fair, because we have no more business in the city. Shall we head back, Joker? To be fair, oh. Do the enemies go away after you beat that one guy? Probably. I'll fight them. I'll fight them on my main. My main. When I come when I do this again. Um on what now? Uh -huh. If we have a chance request, let's go see her again. Sounds good, I'm curious about what that reward too. Um fuck me, I forgot what I was gonna say. Um Ah, eh, whatever. But anyway guys, that's gonna do it for this stream of Persona 5 Royal. I hope you guys enjoy it. In the next stream, guys, we'll be taking down the pyramid. I'm super excited to A, check out how it's going to be different from vanilla, and B, I'm just super excited for when we take on, when we go take the treasure, because this is, this is actually one of my, this might be, this might be my favorite palace, I'm not 100% sure yet, like, I'm trying to, I'm debating if it's this palace or a few palaces from now, it all depends, it all depends, but yeah, but anyway guys, I hope you all enjoy this while you watch the lives or archived here on YouTube. And of course, guys, hey, if you're watching this live, in a few short minutes, my new LP will be premiering. I hope you guys are going to enjoy that, too. It's one I'm super excited for and one I'm having a blast into. So I hope you guys enjoy it as well. So thank you all so much for watching this again. Whether you watch live the archive thing on YouTube. I'll be back on Thursday for us to complete Futaba's Palace. Well, at least go through the battle. Probably won't get the trophy until probably Saturday stream. But anyway, so yeah. All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching this again, and I'll see you guys on Thursday for some more Persona 5 Royal. Bye!